Everybody, what's going on? And welcome back to another episode of Collectible Pass, where we're going to talk about the toys of the week that we absolutely enjoyed and we wanted to talk about, or maybe ones that we want to just kind of rip into a little bit. But it's always fun here. It's always about toys, and it's always a good time, even if we are tearing some of these things apart. And of course, as always, I'm joined by my co-host, uh, Vinny Art. Hey, everyone. And yeah, Tommy's right. Uh, this week, I ripped into a McFarland figure. It was great. You might have seen it short. If not, I'll be showing it tonight. Awesome. Cool. Uh, we are also joined by Slasher McSplitter. Waka, waka, waka. <laughs> Someone sounds excited about the new Silver Surfer movie coming out. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Of course, we're also joined by other co-host Trina Real Horror. Hello, everybody. Happy to be here. Hello. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. And we are also joined by our guest today, Lurch. What's going on, Lurch? Eh, not too much. Hey. Been sick lately. Felt good enough to get on here. Oh, man. Oh, uh, that usually happens if you spend too much time on Twitter. They, they will always make you sick. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Then <laughs> the facts. <laughs> but, uh, uh, guys, of course, we are, uh, we are, we're, we're on my channel. We're on Vinny's channel. Uh, we're on... Vinny on X as well. For all the people that are tuning in, remember, go ahead, share out the links out there. Let everybody know we're going because, uh, well, I, I know for me personally, uh, YouTube can't stand me. I am the most hated guinea pig on YouTube. And unfortunately, yeah. uh, Vinny seems to be on track with that hanging out with me. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, right. we do it. We do appreciate you stopping in, and we do appreciate you guys sharing this stuff out and let other people know that we're going, and I get ready to have a good time. So real quick, let's say hi to some of the people that popped up in the chat. Uh, first one in the house tonight is Toy Mafia. What's going on, Toy Mafia? Good to see you. Chaos Hoy, also in the house. What's up, Chaos? Uh, we're, we're doing okay here. Uh, matter of fact, uh, Jumper had a vet visit today, uh, and there's not the stream to talk about it, but yeah, I'll get into well, at it at some point. The vet. Yeah. Did he not? Did he uh, start uh, acting sick again? Well, that, that's for another stream, another okay. time. Uh, Trina also in the house. What's going on, Trina? Oh, wait a minute, you're on the panel. Why am I saying <laughs> hi to you? Uh, Papa Cotton in the house. What's up, man? Hashtag right. hashtag piggy time. <laughs> Thank you, Papa. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see who else we got down there. Unintelligent design also in the house. What's going on? Welcome. Fine. Welcome, everybody. Uh, get ready for some toy time. Now, I I'm going to kick this one off real quick. because It's actually something that I promised to start doing a while ago. And I just haven't had a chance because I got to dig through the crates of toys. Uh, we all know as uh, big time collectors, when you mm -hmm. have a big enough collection, things wind up getting crated and put away because you just may not have enough space to be able to show a lot of that stuff off. And that is the case with one of these. And one of the people on the panel did ask me to go through some of those toys. So we're going to start with a small sampling of them. And we hope that you enjoy this one. It took a while to dig out. Enjoy it, damn it. Welcome back. As we are hanging out with Indy, the archaeological pig. What's up, Indy? And we're getting ready to show off something that's a little bit old school, so we're digging into the past for this one from Mattel in 1984. We've got Secret Wars Spider-Man. Of course, you know, these ones weren't super articulate. Uh, he had head turn, he had arm movement. And he had a little bit of leg move, but it was actually limited because his feet have to be in a certain position for him to actually stand up. See what I mean? There you go. Really difficult to get that one bound sometimes. He did come with like a lenticular shield that actually had like a hologram thing on it. And then we're going to move on from that one to a 1991 Toy Biz release of Venom. Uh, this one had a few more points of articulation with the bending legs, 
And of course, legs moving up and the arms that were kind of static and then a head turn as well. But that was about it for Venom. And then 1992, Toy Biz did this Spider-Man with articulation that was 10 times better than anything we had previously seen. Got the balls in there and the legs, a lot of good movement in this one. And is got the waist turn plus a diaphragm cut. I, I think this is one of the first figures where we see a full diaphragm cut. Got Ben to here in the wrist as well as the elbows. Really nice, this one. Uh, joints are a little bit loose on this one, but it's still in halfway decent looking shape. So we got that one right there from 92. Also from 92, we wind up getting another Venom. This one got the bended knees, uh, straight hips, no ball joints in that one, no waist turn, uh, bend at the elbow, move at the arm, but he did have this little action where he had a tongue flicking action with the little button that was in the back from 92. Then we move on to 1994, once again, still Toy Biz, and they got another Venom right here. Uh, same thing as the last one, knee bend, straight leg movement right here, nothing fancy, nothing special, uh, bend at the elbows. But this one actually had, you squeeze the legs, and he had a lift up, head eating action on this one. Funny thing is, is uh, this would be the 30, 30 year anniversary for this figure and the uh, Spider-Man is 40 years. And last but not least, we have Carnage. Same thing as the last one, the turn right there at the leg, the bend at the knee, bend at the elbows, movement at the upper arm and a little bit of a head turn, not much, but he had this motion right here where if you turn it, it does a punching action. Those are yeah. great. Those were yeah, those great. Are cool. Yeah, and that that first yeah, venom is the one with recently. the first. The first venom is uh, the one that came with the voice box, right? Yeah, yeah. So that yeah, that one came with the voice right. box. So we did have a couple more. I did have the one that's got the uh, black powder in the backwards. With, inside yeah, with the, the hole in his chest. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had Tommy. that, and there was also another one with a big web that came with him. I can't remember if that came with the powder one or whatever, but there was like a big web that came with that venom as well. And we do have the voice box one. But Tommy, I noticed something too. Even when you were doing that review and you showed that uh, black suit Spider Man when he fell over, that was the pose. He was like in that football pose. <laughs> and he melted, exactly it when he like melted into the roof next door. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he went right into Should've the hit car. Him with the torch for old times' sake, Tommy. Just melted yeah, into yeah. the table. <laughs> That's it. Get a little tar. Put it somewhere and then just put them right on it and start to melt them. And I'll feel no, just Vinny, like that's, some, that's something that we have and that you don't got. Oh, oh <laughs> damn it. Oh, what's going on, Soul Sass? Good Soul's to see Sassen. you. Uh, tongue action. Truck. Look out, ladies. Uh, what's that, up? That was fantastic. How you doing, Etep? What's up, Etep? Those were twos. Whee! Hey, oh, Jeff. man. Yeah, all about bringing out some of the older stuff moving forward. I'm trying to make sure I include these things with every single toy stream that we do from now on. Because it is collectible past. It's not just the new stuff. It's supposed to be some of the old stuff as well. And, of course, we will at, at times get into the history of some of these toy lines. And Slasher was one that brought this up a while ago. He was talking about he wanted me to show off some more of the uh, toy biz ones that we have. So I figured mm -hmm. Vinny just did a Spider-Man figure last week. Mm -hmm. Really good, especially since it is the, the 40th and the 30th anniversary of that, you know, that whole line basically within in that time frame. It'd be a great time to pull out Spider-Man and some of the other uh, symbiotes. That, oh, uh, yeah. 94 was when the Spider-Man cartoon came out, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that's oh, wow. Right. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking fine. <fly. laughs> right, when that voice box Venom came out. There was a big stink about that because back before we had uh, liberals that are offended by everything, back in the 80s and 90s, we had the angry church moms, yeah. the angry church moms that used to dissect everything and used to nitpick and watchdog. So that Venom figure was a target of theirs because the two things he says when you press the voice box, he says, die, Spider-Man. And the other thing he says is, I want to eat like your Jews. brain. And he says, I want to eat your brain. They were very pissed off about that. They tried to get that thing uh, taken off shelves because of that. Okay. 
I was going to say that the winers have been around since like oh yeah the yeah seventies, but they used to be in the form really. of they used to be in the form of the PTA. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they were just called something different, but the ideology ruining America goes way back. Yeah, imagine if we had an Uncle Ruckus toy back then that had a voice box. Or or, or or you know how they had like the the, the big Pee Wee Herman doll and the and the big MC Hammer doll. They should have had a big Andrew Dice Clay doll. <laughs> you, you pull the string and he goes on like a five-minute fucking routine. <laughs> oh, that would have been great. Uh, he would have been better off as a Teddy Ruxpin in my opinion. <laughs> I think you need a tape for that kind of uh, performance. <laughs> but um, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, I have one more to uh, follow on the heels yeah. of that, and then I'm going to hand it over to whoever wants to go next. Uh, this is keeping much in line with the old school theme beginning this stream. So here we go. And this is your old school toy time. From 1973, Lesney Products from England. We have Matchbox models of yesteryear, 1934 Riley. Pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, the package is a little bit dinged up. I used to have a whole bunch of these. Uh, they're all scattered throughout all the crates, but uh, still have this sucker in its original box. Pretty interesting piece. <laughs> Another piece that has definitely seen some better days, we have the old Radio Pal. Um, not exactly a radio flyer, which we did have a couple of those, but they were actually in worse shape than this one. So there you go, old metal wagons. Always a lot of fun. This is another one that's no doubt it's from the 70s. As we continue with old school toy time, oh, look at that. We've got an old Star Wars Stormtrooper blaster. You can see right there uh, from 1978. This thing has seen better days. It's not in perfect shape anymore. This thing has taken quite a beating. The little folding stock thing is missing. Uh, the clip thing on the back of the end broke off, and that's what that sat on. It's supposed to be a little strap, but I do have an original Star Wars Stormtrooper Blaster. I'm not sure if it still works or not because I unfortunately do not have any D batteries just not a common battery size for me to have in the house i found these ones in a collection of my mother's stuff 1968 mickey and minnie from applause these things are just creepy looking <laughs> nice that was a cool little uh, uh, Applause have been around for a long time, haven't they? Yeah. yeah. They're the ones who yeah. made those Marvel PVC figures. Yep, back in yeah. the day, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and like in the 80s and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the old ones. That's but, awesome. But uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of those things, I, I was trying to determine on what, what I was going to actually film. And when I seen that Star Wars blaster having a discussion about how my dad used to beat me with that gun, it's a wonder <laughs> that the uh, folding stock is broken so, off. Sorry to, laugh at, sorry to laugh at that, but that's, like, when that's the first memory of your toy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> what's going on, Bad Take Bojan? Also in the house. Hey, what is up, Tina? Good to see you. Uh, Evitep wants to know where the, the big Pee Wee Herman doll is. Uh, <laughs> it's in a movie theater, Jerkin. Oh, no, it's Gherkin. It's Gherkin. Uh, I'm not creative. 22. What's going on, buddy? I hope that you're doing well. Uh, DJ Ronnie G, also in the house. What's up, DJ Ronnie G? I hope that you're doing good as well. Uh, what's that? Uh, probably could get a Good price or repair or some of those stuff. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, a lot of them I'm probably not planning on getting rid of. Uh, some of them I may try to see if I can find the rest of the parts, like that Star Wars blaster. I want to see if I can find the rest of the parts. I'm pretty sure I brought them back, and I should yeah, be able to put that back cool. together. So, got beat by Star Trek, really. Everything makes sense now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm not creative. Thanks for linking the link in the chat appreciate it guys remember if you got channels or you got somebody uh that you hope to stop by and check out your channel go ahead post your links in the, in the chat on my end uh absolutely it's allowed um who's next 
What, does anyone else want to go? Do you have anything, anyone? No, uh, go ahead. Man. No, go ahead, a, Vinny. Whoever, whoever. I'll, yeah, I'll, upload, I'll, I guess. I'll, I'll pull up the uh, the McFarlane one that he snapped at. Hold on. Okay, you're going. Where? Yeah, yeah, I'll go. All right. Is this the, the Zaz figure? This is the what? The Zaz figure? No. This was another one. This is when I saw it in store. And uh, uh, to appreciate it properly, we got to hear it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here's, uh, yeah. This. this is super cheap shit. You have, again, the uh, Dark Knight Superman. They reuse this body, I don't know, five times, six times already. And now you just. Again, another paint job, and you throw a really bad Superman head. This is some piss poor shit. I can't stand when McFarlane does this stuff. They I have those works. old molds sitting around. They got to do something with them. Oh yeah, no, yeah. They can't guys, just throw them away. No, that these was... guys are assholes. That figure, uh, that original figure, is barely a year old, and again, they've already reissued this thing like five or six different times. Yeah, lazy bad. shit I've ever seen. You know, it also McFarlane. devalues it because you're not making new molds over and over it's just the same mold being used so yeah and i'm sorry I mean? i'm sorry i fucking hate crypto they gotta stop throwing crypto into yeah. shit seriously yeah well but you it's cool that they put crypto in with superman like uh uh it's such a goof, goofy fucking thing i hate it i hate i've always hated it <laughs> i i know i get i like i agree but we haven't had uh, Superman with crypto in a long time, and this would be a cool set if if this were a different Superman. Like that body doesn't fit that hairstyle. Exactly, and that's the point. I, I mean, if we're gonna too. have crypto back, then can Wonder Woman have an invisible car again in a movie? That would be hilarious. The the sure, invisible jet. The invisible jet. Yeah, invisible yeah. Like what the fuck I mean, do they? Are they gonna <laughs> have they put Batmite in with any Batman figures? Yeah, right? I, I'm that would be cool. Well. I'm no, it wouldn't. Well. Fuck listen, that, Mike. Li listen, listen. This is how stupid they are, too. Because McFarlane had just released, like, two or three vintage-style Superman. And one of them actually looked really good, but he had the same super light blue color to him. It kind of bothered me. But if you're going to put it in with a figure like that, wouldn't you put it with, with him if you're going to take crypto? Not this beefed-out, muscle Michelin man-looking... Mm -hmm. uh he almost looks fat it's so stupid it, it looks like it would belong better in a motu line quite honestly yeah yeah it's ridiculous and i'll be honest i cannot stand frank miller's his run on that shit everyone crazy over the dark knight no he had some pretty decent concepts but that story sucked i remember the first time i read it as a kid it sucked i read it when i was when an, uh, I, I was an adult it sucked i'm like let me give it another chance did not like it I thought it was stupid. There's a handful of decent concepts in there, but uh, again, everyone goes crazy over that storyline and Frank Miller. He uh, he had a handful of decent drawings. The majority of that book to me sucked. So uh, I don't know. Me, I've never been a big fan of his shit. Uh, e e Tep wanted to weigh in on this figure, and he said, uh, "Vinny has an as from Heels versus Babyface figure. Oddly enough, it looks like a Gamorian guard with diabetes." <laughs> Is it those weird frog-looking things with the big tusks? Uh, Frank is eating, uh, Frankie's eating the, crispy potatoes. Like those are the crunchy. guards. Uh, Job of the Hutt's guards. The Gaborian guards. Yeah. The ones that look okay. like orcs. Yeah, didn't they but see yeah, one them, of them? Putting in crypto the, in it, this thing does remind you of how much they've changed the DC superheroes from their like their classic selves or the way they were for a long time in like the 60s and 70s. But Todd, the he's just bastardizing these lines at this point. There's no yeah. rhyme or reason to the to the figures he's releasing. There's no proper waves anymore. It's just like, I'm going to take this guy here, and then I know it's going to be a Green Lantern from some obscure book from uh, somewhere in the New 52 line. Da, then yeah, I'm going to have uh, I'll, I'll have a cartoon version of Wonder Woman. Da. I saw on Twitter that he's going to put out the Spectre figure. But it's not the original Spectre. He's doing the Hal Jordan version of Spectre. Can I just say something more about this this one? Yeah. The, if if McFarlane did uh, All Star Superman style Superman with Crypto, that would this this would be a cool like little two pack thing. But this beefed out. I can't stand beefed up Superman. 
Yeah. It, it's I, just to me, it doesn't look right. I agree. Because he didn't need steroids. And, he was just well, he, natural, like because yeah. of his powers, it, it wouldn't matter if he was yeah. the skinniest guy in the room. Nothing it, could hurt him, so he didn't need to actually, like, be, uh, yeah, steroid looking. Like he was muscular, but I just mean, yeah, like, it didn't actually matter. Exactly, it, and that's it, like, he looks like those fake uh, TikTok uh, weightlifters, the one that yeah. juiced up their arms. <laughs> yep, I gotta say, Trina, you are two hundred percent correct. Like I said, they mm-hmm. released, yeah, I agree with you. They released two or three other Superman figures that were more old school style where even on the back of it, they, you could see it's, it's more from his like original run. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he's smaller. There's even like a Superboy type one that you could release, put the dog with him. Why Mm -hmm. are you putting it with this guy? Yeah. You know? And again, they shouldn't be, you shouldn't reuse this mold. Get rid of this mold. This is, I'm telling you five or six times on the release, this piece of shit mold. Also, you know what, how you were going on about, uh, um, beefed up Superman Trina. Mm Mm-hmm. I have a thing against long-haired Superman. I prefer yeah. Superman with yeah. the short fucking hair. I I, like- yeah, I totally agree with you there. Yeah. I mean, I I can understand that they made him. They made a figure of long-haired Superman because that did happen in the nineties. Yeah, I know when he I'm came back. Say, it yeah, there was Fabio. a time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. There was ever a time where they were drawing him with long hair. Yeah, yeah that, I forgot that's exactly. Uh, that's were. exactly what uh, Luffy is God said. Uh, yeah. Super Fabio yeah. with Crypto. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, what's going on, Luffy? Yeah. Is good to see you. Good to what's see you. Real quick, uh, I want to hit this one. Uh, uh, Etep Etep said. Uh, so uh, Tommy bought a Geeks and Gamers two pack. It came in a 1992 Honda Civic. Uh, Jeremy Griggs, Ryan Kennel, and a popcorn bucket. Damn you! <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> and Soul Sasson also said the best Batman figure I ever got was a NECA one, uh, the armored version versus the Predator. I, I heard that was a really good figure. I think they used the same body that um, – I know the, the, the sculptor who did it was the one who did the uh, – help me out – the Flash Gordon comic book versions yeah, and, uh, and the Phantom. The body was very similar uh, on the Batman that was in that line. Yeah, so. the NECA Phantom figure was pretty cool too. Yeah. It, it was He did it like in that same stock. He probably like repurposed the, uh, the mold of the original clay that he had. Did McFarlane yeah. – <laughs> did McFarlane, since he had DC, did he put out the four Supermen? You know, Cyborg, Superman, Steel, Superboy, Eradicator. Did Steel, he put, did he I saw out? Steel recently. I think that's super. I think they've, yeah, yeah. I think they've all been released, but not yeah. together. I think they all came out separately, which is right. really stupid. Wouldn't you put them together in, in a in a series? Or at least put them out in the same, you know, wave of figures. Yeah. Oh, and Steel, he didn't even do any. He didn't even do any kind of proper metallic uh, paint job on him. He it's was just like a paint. Flat, he was a flat gray color, and it was Man. like a dark gray. It, it, it looked terrible, absolutely horrible. I saw it in a comic shop like two weeks ago. How did Cyborg Superman look? Uh, same I did not, shit. They painted him. Same shit. I I think I saw him a while back. Yeah, I, I don't remember seeing that one recently. But the ones I know that I've seen for sure, I've seen um, uh, the uh, the Eradicator one and Steel. I believe Superboy came out in one of the earlier waves with the, with the black leather jacket and the, mm-hmm. the sunglasses. But yeah, like if they don't put those out in a four-pack, at least put them out in the same wave. Oh, yeah. But um, again, they just show how stupid they are. You know, and maybe pick an uh, anniversary of that or some shit, you know. I, I'm not creative. You might not be seeing on your end because ETEP might be in a uh, might a be different my channel. channel. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's streaming on two channels. Uh, and what's up? Mm-hmm. What's up, Time Profit? Hey, how are we doing? What's up, yeah? So yeah, so that yeah, was if you're my, watching uh, just on Tommy's side, go over and like Vinny's side of the stream. It helps. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, please do. Thanks. Thanks for that reminder. Um, yeah, it, it's crazy how all this stuff is, but uh, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, McFarlane, I don't know. He's he's really been <laughs> pissing me off lately. Um, I, I I got like I think yeah, two I figures. I'm gonna end up reviewing. Uh, they've been sitting because I, I just I haven't had any. When, I, to when I saw that he put he's putting out a Spectre figure and mm-hmm. he's put he, he like the bio on the figure talks about how the Spectre uh was involved in Crisis on Infinite Earths. But it's the Hal Jordan figure. From Kingdom Come? No, it's... At, wait, was, is that when they put the Spectre mantle on oh, Hal wait, Jordan? Wait, wait. No, no, I'm wrong. No, no. Yeah, yeah I'm wrong. That, yeah, you're right. Uh, I got the storylines like, mixed up. Like, the, he completely screwed up the the timeline for the figure. Oh, and yeah. The, 
in the description. Oh, yeah, yeah. They do it all the time. I've seen McFarlane figures where uh, the back of the package is completely different from the actual figure that's in there. And, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it would be like putting out a George Clooney Batman figure and the bio is about the Michael Keaton version. It's right, like, or Val Kilmer. Yeah. Yep. I, I'm telling you, this is this is what happens when you outsource to China. He went lazy and he doesn't care. He's just, he's just collecting all the monies right now. That guy's so loaded, it's ridiculous. But... Uh, you think you listen to the fans more? Or, I don't know. Or when you run contests, maybe you wouldn't let um, people cheat in order to get in the contest. I don't know. There's a lot of different things. I don't like what McFarlane's been doing lately. Oh that's yeah, that cool. whole con the drawing contest thing. Did he ever address the fact that um, AI won the contest? Nope. Oh nope. man, I, I didn't see anything about that. That the guy was being super arrogant too and cursing out people. So like on top of it, he's being super unprofessional. So well, you, I, I, can, I can't tell you this from our, our end on the toys. As far as what I'm seeing on the shelves, I am not seeing a lot of McFarlane's at all being restocked anywhere. Same, um, I, I, same thing with Hasbro. A lot of Hasbro shelves have been empty, and they've stayed empty. I mean, I've seen a few new things come in here or there, but mm -hmm. nowhere near the way that they used to be uh, because they always used to have those things stocked. Not yeah. anymore. Yep. Yeah, a lot yeah, of it's it uh, the the other companies that make the DC stuff that I've been seeing. And then, uh, yeah, the last McFarland stuff I saw was that, that, uh, like Diablo merchandise that they got the licensing to make mm -hmm. for game stops. Yeah. He's trying to target stuff. It looks like for specialty shops. And I think that's yeah. why he's doing like those gold label things and all that crap. Cause they know they're just, they're pissing off fans and the, and the big re, uh, retailers because of all the theft that's going on too. Like, nobody cares anymore you know yeah oh god all right hold on i'm gonna have to pull this up speaking of really really uh, shit. Uh, not, not yet time profit not yet um i didn't yeah. have a chance because i was uploading for the past like four days for this mm -hmm. stream uh once again thank you very much century link uh you're you are such a huge help for everything we do on this thursday stream Son of a bitch. Absolutely. Uh, I, not to worry not to worry it will be showing up in the next toy stream i guarantee you that uh, Time Profit has sent me something special uh, for Trina, so I can't now, wait you, to unveil that next week. You can't tell me this is some kind of piss poor <laughs> cash grab. Wait, what happened, Tommy? Does he got gold lipstick on? His teeth. <laughs> yeah. His gold teeth. It looks like gold lipstick. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> this cheap shit. Dude. This no. is literally, oh, God, oh, you know what we got to do? We got to re-release uh, another Batman, because uh, Batman always sells. And then we just, it's just a black mold. So we don't have to pay for anything. <laughs> and one color, gold. This figure probably cost me, I don't know, a dollar twenty-nine to make. And we'll <laughs> sell it for twenty-five. <laughs> you know, it's gold label. We're going to we're gonna sell it for thirty. Uh, people will buy it. This and then is they just sit there until dinner. people mark them down. Usually, that's the sad thing. Yep. That it'll have a new label put on it that says twenty four ninety nine, and then it mm -hmm. will finally move. Yeah. Oh, uh, Frankie wants to know uh, a gold grill is is he the Harlem Knight? <laughs> <laughs> it's flavor flave as Batman. Dude, hey, this happy is... no. What's up, Happy? What's up, Happy? Yeah, good to see you, Happy. happy. You, you don't know. usually show up here. Yeah, this is crazy shit, man. You got to have balls to re release crap like this. The Time Prophet asks, is that Trina in a bad suit? No, I'm the Golden Girl, not the Golden Grill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, and see, the, those gold label ones, when they first started coming out with them, they were like the higher quality in as far as what McFarlane was doing. And then like everything just started really just going downhill fast. And I seen it coming with a lot of the uh, Batman 66 line. Those things started off really good. Mm -hmm. And then as the line progressed, they started getting worse and worse and worse to the point where I was like, I'm not collecting any more of these shits. And now, yeah. as far as I know, that line is just canceled. Because I haven't heard about them doing anything more well, for it. And the last one they had out was Batgirl. And I thought it looked like shit. Her suit wasn't even the right color. Yeah, it looked terrible. At, uh, at GameStop, I forgot to film it. They had a couple more from the 66 line. And they did a weird Joker that almost looks like the animated version of Joker. But like in this 1966 style. And oh, it, it looked like shit. It looked terrible. 
<clears throat> it, it wasn't your Cesar Romero Joker because he had, he had already done it. But the Joker and Batman, uh, they smell, they sell no matter what. So they're going to release another one. Uh, yeah, but he's uh, not doing anything that no one that already had the Batman license did. You always, I always go on about Kenner. They fuck, how they fucking 100,000 Batman figures to fight oh, two yeah. villains. Hey, it, it, look, it looks like he keeps topping himself with those. Uh, and I think he, he surpassed the Kenner line with the amount of Batmans that he released. But look, oh, hold on, put the pin it for a second. Remember, we had this discussion where McFarlane hates female characters and they mm -hmm. don't sell. They yeah. don't yeah. sell. Yeah. Well, he's finally releasing a Starfire. That looks like it's what you what you would actually want out of all that stuff. Yeah, I but, see the picture of it. Yeah, but it's a special collector's mm -hmm. edition, and we know the collector's edition. Good luck finding them. Um, so that means they they made a small number of them. So when you have a, a halfway mm -hmm. decent figure or something that's accurate to the comics that fans actually wanted, now you're going to make them pay on the secondary market if they want this. Do you see how how shitty? he is and, and how these corporations work it's disgusting because yeah, she would fly off good. the shelves yeah yeah and well you know what that's gonna do he's gonna say see i told you they don't sell very well and that's just because like he limited availability anyway oh yeah well that, you you called yeah, it yeah the starfire figure was pretty good yeah we, really did, we, we had the same conversations with them when i was working for him and we we gave him the proof we told him what the comic shops wanted what the other stores wanted, because they said, how come the female figures are always chase figures? How come there's only one per case or two per case? How come they're not equal in there? And he, and he would say the same bullshit over and over. And you're right. He'll use it to go, say, I don't sell. No, they sell, moron. If you do it right, they're going to sell. Yep. Yep. I, I don't yeah. know why he's so afraid of female figures. Like, m like guys love well-done female figures. Maybe he was beat up as a child by a woman. He's put out plenty of female figures when he first started making these spawn figures. <laughs> yeah, but again, those figures. I got the thought. fucking Angela figure. I got a couple other ones in, in my fucking hallway because I got a, a, a Widowmaker. There's another one. I, I forget oh, yeah. the other one. But I have more yeah. than a few then, of the, the female figures. And then he started to short them. And it's like the sexier the figures got with the spawn lines, the smaller the number he would make for some stupid reason. Maybe it was his wife. Maybe it's, I don't know. Mm. Uh, it sounds like there's other mental issues going on over there. Because it's like, if this is making money and people want it, then why don't you release more of it? Take a look on eBay at some of his hottest selling or the, the hottest looking female figures that he's done. And all of them are going for a couple of hundred dollars easy. Hundred a couple, maybe 300 uh, on some of them, there's an Egyptian one that he released. Uh, uh, she she's like kneeling down and kind of like her body's almost elongated, you know, because she's like on one knee on a pile of money or treasures and shit. That thing was going last I saw for around three hundred bucks because it looked gorgeous. The paint was amazing on it. The detailing on it was incredible. But again, why would we make more of that? It actually sells. Do you think that he's afraid of? To do it now because he's afraid of being like canceled by SJWs. But he is one. Yeah, yeah but that's not going to stop <laughs> SJWs from turning on him. Right. But, but, eat yeah. their own, bro. Oh, yeah, of course yeah. they do. But like I said, he's also done things that he he takes the left side anyway. So uh, it's whatever works for his business. If if they're telling him, hey, you got to do X, Y, and Z and avoid this. He might question it for a second, and then it'll be like, "Okay, well, if that's what everyone's doing, fine, we'll do that." But well, him you know what? Here, here. The female figures don't sell. That whole point that he's saying there that goes against the SJW uh, uh, beliefs. Well, here I, I have a well, challenge for uh, Todd McFarlane. So mm -hmm. here's what I want you to do, Todd. Um, I want you to make a, the absolute best female figure that you can make. Uh, find like one of the most popular female figures from DC. Uh, make that figure, make it look sexy as hell. And to prove that female figures don't sell right alongside it, I want you to release Captain Tuna. And let's see which one sells out. Well, hold on. You, all right, hold on. You make a good point there. Now, he did release his version of Wonder Woman, his designed Wonder Woman. She had pants, straps, oh, 
she looked like a fucking uh, trick or treat character. It, it looked so stupid. It and it sat, it sat forever in stores. Nobody wanted it. Then he released a gold label version of it because he still had the mold <laughs> and repainted it and made it look even worse. And then he tries to, oh, well, female figures don't sell. Wrong. You didn't, you didn't release the proper classic Wonder Woman figure and her classic look mm -hmm. for everyone. What he did was he did like a special gold label or a special collector's edition one. And apparently it came out a while ago and no one could find it. Mm. Yeah, uh, ridiculous. This guy is. I, I'm convinced he's retarded. A uh, soul, yeah. soul assassin thought yeah. the Mohawk Wonder Woman looked uh, like ass. <laughs> yeah, it was awful. Yeah. Like all the of those. Mohawk. Yeah, all of those Wonder Woman variants. Like the there was one. Um, there's that Mohawk one. Then there was one with her in like full armor. Um, and it was like the, it was silver, I think. And they, they were just awful. It's like pe people just want to see like normal Wonder Woman. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Give us the classic one. Oh, and then his, his production samples were different from the actual figure. With the production samples that they released of that of that Wonder Woman that was supposed to be like a collector's edition, which looked good. Um, when people got it, the neck was too short. So I don't know what the hell they're doing, but there's no quality control because he outsourced to China. And you could tell, you could tell with all these figures. Yeah, Linda Carter figure would be kind of cool. That would be, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm sure my profit, if they made one and they made it right and made her look good, I'm mm -hmm. sure that thing would sell the hell out. Because That's what I mean. If they, if they went all out with the mold on detail, use a uh, design the mold with a CGI model that's just over the top. Hire a real artist really to good. work on it. Not yeah, yeah, exactly. Not Why did they put that might with the fucking... 1966. Why is Bat right there? Well, that's that's why I wanted to show you that because you you asked. So yeah, they definitely did release one. Fuck Bat, mate. Yep. And look how stupid this Joker is too, with the oversized head and everything. That it's looks like the look. Super Friends Joker. Yeah, it looks terrible. This whole thing looks. Weird. And then you have the. Uh, I'm I'm assuming that is that Alfred or Commissioner Gordon. I think that's Al uh, that's Alfred. Not, no, no, no. I'm pretty sure that's Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, Gordon I guess didn't right. have glasses on the show. Have Gordon the didn't have to glasses. Hire somebody like you to do the 2D concept no? and then hire a sculptor. On the show, Gordon didn't have glasses. Uh, I don't know what this line. This is just like a, another bastardized line. Just fucking just, pink Riddler. Yeah, just to redo these molds and shit. And look at the stupid face on that Riddler too. Like, what the hell is that? They, they look horrible. Yeah, I, yeah. Mm hmm. So there you go. There's uh, there's a. Uh, if those uh, end up at Ollie's, you should grab some though, Tommy. I don't know if they're cheap. Shoot them. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's <laughs> kind of what I was saying because he was doing that already with some of that dollar store stuff, where he was seeing how it held up to a BB gun or whatever. Yeah. Good God, is that price real? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's Prime like, that's Studio. That's what you would expect. Yeah. For something yeah. that well done. Yeah. That's kind of what I was getting at. Look Prime at that. Studio, yeah, their quality is like through yeah, the roof. Exactly, actually looks good. Yep, one third scale, and that price is a month's rent in certain cases. Yeah, if you can find rent that cheap, yeah, God bless. It's yeah, it's it's getting ridiculous out there. But yeah, and there are others like yeah, they they did good with with her. Um, but yeah, I think the lowest that I've seen. Uh, Linda Carter as Wonder Woman is around a hundred. Okay. So yeah, it's de people definitely like that version. I mean, well, she was the original. Well, was she the? the I think there was a blonde Wonder Woman, woman first, wasn't there? There was, but like I don't know if there was if they were blonde. I think it was black and white though, so I don't know. I like, thought there was a blonde Wonder Woman. I just mean there was a show before the Linda Carter stuff. It's just that became the iconic oh, one. It? It's like the yeah, yeah. The set uh, that that Linda Carter one is the is the one that everybody thinks of with yeah. The, like when you think of Wonder mm -hmm. Woman on screen, yep. you know, before this the new um, what's her name? Um, Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty. Yeah, pretty much two iconic ones. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's but like I said, they just they keep screwing up. I also saw that he did. Uh, he's going back to his um, the music line figures, and now he's calling them music maniacs, and they look like melty figures. Like you just like literally had a 
a torch to them or something. I just melted them a little bit. Look how horrible this Ozzy Osbourne looks. That looks like shit. Dude, I, I don't know what crack this guy's smoking. I, I'd like a better close-up of his face, but yeah, that doesn't impress me very much. Nope. These are awful. And the classic Todd, a guy in a suit doesn't sell. Da, da. Okay, so make a guy in a suit. Uh, so a few people did chime in. Uh, they, you know, uh, Time Profit. There, there was a woman before Linda Carter, but she wore an all-in-one suit. Uh, Happy Dinosaur also said there was a blonde Wonder Woman TV movie as a test pilot that got retooled into Linda Carter. Okay, that must be what I'm thinking of because I've seen photos and stuff, and I was just trying to look it up, and it was coming up with the Linda Carter stuff. I'm like, well, yeah, I know that she's like the first one as far as most people know, but I just met factually because even Adam West isn't the first real person to dress up as batman right or like right. black and white adaptations but they yeah, were not the, the 1940s part of the series yeah, that they used to have out exactly. in the movie theaters yeah uh time profit also says that kathy lee crosby was the wonder woman before linda carter okay <laughs> and ozzy looks better than the real thing but yeah but this is going back yeah. to what we were talking about last week with somebody like the zazz figure where there was no definition whatsoever to the outfit. It just looked like, you know, like Vinny just said, like melted plastic. There's no definition to it whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And they can absolutely do these definitions, um, line work and everything else on these figures and still make it semi-affordable. There are plenty of companies that have proven that it can be done. These guys are just getting cheap. They're cutting corners and they're just trying to save money. They're paying maybe about two or three dollars to have these damn figures made. And then they're jacking them up to $34 or more at retail. It, mm -hmm. It's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Less yeah, pain find some means... ridiculously good sculptors and they can probably make the, the negative for what becomes the mold. Yeah. Well, this is the problem with all that stuff too, because he didn't want to pay people. He didn't want to give them proper credit. Um, and his, uh, his original, um, the studio we, that we were making all these, the design studio, uh, you had other people who were stealing the money and doing horrible things or nefarious things. So uh, again, that he moved everything out to Tempe and then he started outsourcing and they use the technology what's going on. They thought it was going to be the real scan technology is what he was going to primarily use. Nope. He went even the cheaper route. Um, yeah. And, yeah. And Super seven stuff often looks good. Soul assassin, but I was pretty bummed at how bad they did on like that GI Joe line, at least on that Cobra commander. I haven't bought any of the others, but that yeah. quality control stuff was really, irritating because uh, they do it wasn't good. it wasn't it wasn't even just the quality control i mean mm -hmm. the manufacturing and like making a gun with no handle on it whatsoever yeah. like i, I uh, how does that even like why didn't okay? that have its own hand that was already like pre-molded or grafted to it exactly that, that went yeah. in as a, a port because I, I did actually mm -hmm. go back and that that gun is from the intro from the from some mm -hmm. of the the episodes so it just shows like uh mm -hmm. i think it's duke or hawk that punches him through a window while he's holding it but um yeah. Uh, anyway, I looked and it, it doesn't have a handle on it truly in the art. So I, I, I get why they did that. But there's such morons because all it can do is be propped up next to him. Yeah. Now, OK, now here's here's another point that I want to make. Um, and I'm glad that this person pulled it up. Um, so this is the brand new. This is 2024. The brand new uh, Alice Cooper with the weird T joint that you see in, in, in toys from the fucking 70s. Explain this to me. Melty pants, melty legs horrible design and this is the one that they did in 2000. i like that one yeah, yeah that one looks pretty good and why look a lot like him because yeah. you could you could tell someone actually sculpted this this wasn't yeah. china just playing around with cheap things and leftover parts this is someone who actually sculpted it and designed it properly as opposed to this lump of shit. those ones the music maniacs they look like just like statues yeah, well, the, yeah, the original ones, they were, they were kind of fixed poses with some limited, yeah. you know, uh, posability. But that's all right. That's what it was supposed to be. The whole thing was like almost like the experience off of the stage. You know, you wanted to have recreate that basically, you know, and, and have a cool little representation of that. I don't know what this is supposed to be because I'd be embarrassed to put this on the shelf. Yeah, that's that's not yeah. good. It's terrible. And that's what I mean. The quality went to shit. 
because how much money he's making. It's like, oh, we'll just we'll keep outsourcing. Screw it. Yeah. I'd, why, why should we help artists? You know, you know and what? That, uh, yeah, that does Austin. look more like those figures. Or the that, that would be better. Uh, and you know what? Yeah. And that's the thing about the Toonie Terrors. Uh, even even with the limitations that they have with that, because they're trying to make them look animated, they wind up having more detail than those figures right there by McFarland. Hundred percent. Yep. I agree. hundred percent. Those Toonie Terrors, they look like fun because they're a specific style. What style was that? Ozzy Osbourne and uh, uh, and Alice Cooper. They just look like shit. There was no style really. They just look like generic mm -hmm. statues. Melted, yep. uh, melted wax. Yeah. That's the style. Basically, and the cheapest articulation you could possibly put. Uh, Frankie wants yeah. to know why Alice Cooper is wearing a thimble on his head, and he also wants to know: Did <laughs> Rick Astley make the Music Maniacs line? <laughs> Dude, I, 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 like, I'm speechless at this shit. I wouldn't trust anybody to make a figure of me. Time profit. <laughs> <laughs> Seen Def Leppard, That's awesome. Cool. That must have been fun. Yeah, you know, they, they, they could save on making the drummer from Def Leppard. You know? Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> one quarter less plastic has to be used. <laughs> not wrong, uh, uh, Ukraine hot date. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh, Jesus. Uh, did anybody else have anything that they wanted to show up before I get back into the other stuff that I have? I got nothing, got nothing. Anybody going once? No, I, I was going to say, I, yeah, I could show something, I guess. Yeah, sure. Go oh, ahead. If you got something, you go for it. Yeah, may as well. Yeah, because my mind are both living whenever, whenever it starts playing, there it goes. If you got it, flaunt it. Yeah. This is that uh, figure I picked up. Was she didn't say whip it out. Down. This one was like $30, which for NECA is actually pretty cheap. Next to a bunch of fifty dollars stuff, but yeah, it's the the black and white issue version of the Glass Ronin, so I thought it was pretty cool. So nice. there he is. Once you get him out of the box, yeah, it's I thought it was an alternative, head, especially since it was one of everybody's uh, weapon, like fully marked up. It was like thirty dollars. So yeah, that's not bad. Did you get this uh, at Best Buy? No, like, I actually found this uh, it, I in a section at Walmart, called. and I didn't know they had any uh, NECA stuff. I've gone there looking for NECA many times, and then oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, NECA, you got to go over by the records and CDs. Yep. Uh, Target dust, does the same not thing, dust, but, like a yeah. but they usually hide it in one of the end cap aisles. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I, 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 Target does the same thing. It isn't around the main toys that. So but there's the Target near me actually with. has a large NECA section, whereas Walmart is just hands. this tiny little. Uh, yeah, he's got tiny little area next to yeah the records the, like, and pinching stuff. Pinching hands. Yeah, because this is basically just the armored, but. Uh, yeah, I just thought it was uh, really cool because it was black and white, like the black and white issue. Again, yeah, this kind of works. Mm -hmm. uh, I like this yeah, a lot better in the cool. red the washed out version they did. Of one, one yeah, oh. but yeah, I like, like I, I was telling they you, didn't before, have I already the had the colored version, version yeah, so I would have no need hilarious. for a black and white version too. Yeah, exactly. I, that's kind of why I laughed when you said that because uh, it, it made perfect sense. It's literally great. the same thing. It's just in a but different yeah, color. Them on either or head. But yeah, they didn't have the colored armored version. They had that the Phantom and Casey Jones crossover thing. It's got some heft to it. I was pretty surprised by it. They had a bunch of, uh, and then they had like the foot soldiers, like four pack or five pack from NECA. Uh, see if the camera will focus. Which I thought was cool, but that was see like that, 55 uh, bucks. Seer of material that's left there. Yeah, that was the only mess up. It kind of bummed me out a little bit. Other than that, it's like yeah. awesome. So it, the other ones don't have it. They just left a little bit of material there when they cut it from the mold. Oh, and yeah, yeah. Just, uh, you're getting exact of those. It's molded yeah, all that's a, yeah, it's that's what I was saying. Is you can just either file it down or cut it with an doing exact a bunch of hand filing on that sword, which I yeah, it, it's almost. It might actually the, the help holding the thing. video. The sword will be finished in it. Yeah, it, it might. Be like I noticed his pinching hands hold these really finished. well. Tommy actually well, showed good. that in his video with the armored yeah. version uh, that was colored. Yeah, yeah. the uh, the bow is pretty cool. Post half, but I, I'm also sick, and I was sicker when I recorded this. So sorry for my lack yeah, of enthusiasm. No it's a quarter staff if you're a European. It's a good it's set. The same thing. It's just yeah, it's really cool. Staff. That's what the samurai call it. Samurai. Yeah, and kind of go on thing. about some stupid stuff. The but... only weapon in karate. <laughs> this is it. Like the other martial arts may have their own weapons or whatever, but 
always found it. Karate funny. means That's empty hand. And yet karate. this is the only weapon that mm. Okinawan karate or real karate actually has. Is the Sai. Like not saying the other this weapons aren't real. They just belong tool. to different arts. Yep. They're European versions too, yeah. just not this particular cool. one. This thought one that thing was really Asian. cool, but for some dumb reason, I went on a rant about what the real ones were for. Uh, Europeans mostly just use the two-handed flails, but what these I are could, for? for I can see Tommy doing that too. Mesh filter. So you put down a, a sheet what? of mesh. You put down. The, yeah, a lot of people don't know the origins of flails. The military to, flails were made because peasants uh, tried to attack them and successfully and did with things like that, where you're just beating them with your agricultural flail. It's where the military flails come from, even in Europe peasants having to make shift weapons um and see this the is the one thing that cool. did irritate me about the, the sheath and the sword actually do go together, the unarmored it doesn't seem like they only give one of those special on tampa and if you ever read the story you understand why those tampa are actually special and he has a pair of them and the fact yeah. that they never included a pair since they were his main fighting weapons just drove me nuts yeah, yeah. I thought it was interesting that they just gave him one of each, like he's taken one weapon from all of his brothers and then has his own. Well, literally like, in the book, he does, so. Yeah. Well, I like this. Wow, he's I cool. think it's awesome. I was really impressed with it. Yeah. And yeah, I, I saw Tommy's reviews of them, and I, I thought they were awesome just on the camera. Once I actually got a hold of this thing, though, it's it's got actual heft because I was expecting it to kind of feel hollow or light. It actually doesn't. And, and that was like, that was one of the things that uh, NECA does do right on a lot of their figures. And I know there's been a, I, I've had one bad one, uh, so that was the Santa Stripe. But all the other ones I've gotten have been pretty solid. And the last few ones that I get, one that I'm going to be showing a little bit later, um. Very hefty feeling figures, like very. Yeah, he can solid actually hold that hand. grenade in those fingers. That's actually in mm -hmm. there. It's pretty cool, because uh, a lot of times figures don't hold little things like that. They just include yeah. them, like that rifle. Yep. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, I, I and then I, I held up this other hand because the other way you can get him to hold it is it can just sit there. But that you'll probably lose it if you do that. Well, right. I, I tell you what, you know what this works with? Because they've done a few of these figures in black and white. So I have the Usagi Yojimbo in black and white uh -huh. with, with that same cell shading like in a comic book. And he, this figure would work really well in a lineup next to him. And they've done a few of the other ones like this as well, where they're all black and white. So, I mean, if you were going the black and white version with these things, mm -hmm. picking up ones like this that are really solid molds, if you like the black and white style, that, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it, this oh, was yeah. a very good mold. Yeah, I thought they looked really cool. Yeah, he's a beautiful figure. Yeah, because the one I have was the, um, I guess, the battle damage one where he's got he's shirtless. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was a beautiful figure, man. Yeah, solid. the unarmored, unarmored. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that one was just as cool. I didn't see that one there in black and white, or I might have tried to grab that one if it was also marked down a little bit. Mm -hmm. That was cool, though. Yeah. I, I just was really happy to find it and not have to pay full price because I, uh, yeah, I looked it up. What you If you try to find this thing online and have it shipped to you, they want like $60. All right. Anybody oh, see God. this one online? Anyone see this one? Oh, no, I haven't. Business suit Casey Jones. Oh my god, <laughs> and the and yeah, foot soldier that. that's, that's split down the middle. That's great. Does that's NECA have things. somebody from McFarland working for him now? <laughs> uh, guys in suits don't sell. We'll do a two pack. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I kind of like it. Yeah, it's funny, it's pretty cool though. If you're gonna go gimmicky, yeah, you go all the way and, and yeah, have have the battle damage uh, foot soldier. I'll that tell works. you what, uh, the, the one thing I hated about the cartoon, and I got one two pack that the wife had picked up for me and, and gave me uh, for Christmas or something, and it was the one where the foot soldier split down the middle and his lower half and upper half are held together by a bendy wire, uh -oh. and it, it, at, coming out of the package, the bendy wire was already partially snapped. Yep. I was like, Whoa, what a piece of shit, man. That thing went right back. And then she was like, I take it you don't want any more from that line for any future uh, holidays or birthdays. I said, no, never want to see them again. It always sucks when somebody tries to get you a gift and it doesn't work out. Yeah. Well, at yeah. least this one doesn't look like it's, you know. It yeah, he, he ain't going to fall apart on you. Yeah. 
what it is right, oftentimes I, 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 is they I, I, don't I use like heavy enough stuff. gauge like of wire. Yeah, so they'll these, use a bendy wire cool. and they'll use a really thin bendy wire, which those yeah, snap a lot faster. Let's see let, let's see what it goes for on eBay. $106. Wow. Jeez. Yeah. And that just uh, got released. Uh, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm okay. But was that a specific episode that he had a business suit on? Uh, yeah, that I, there was a picture of it. There was a picture okay. of him on. Uh, I think he was on the news. <laughs> That's funny. Like in the studio. Yeah. He got all dolled up. <laughs> I ain't going to pay him $106. No. Yeah, I mean, that's the problem. If these things are kind of limited and released, too, of course, you're always going to get the scalpers. And it, yep. uh, that That's like a, a collection. See, the solution is to or, become the scalper. Buy it right when it comes I, out I, and I would mark never up. want to be that. No, I'd never do that. I, I've bought things and I've sold things. Now, if I happen to get a higher price than what I bought it for, it's not that I marked it up that high. Um, I yeah. got lucky like that with my Studio Series 86 Grimlock because I had an extra. So yeah. when I sold that, I was expecting to get X amount of dollars. I was thinking I'll probably get this, and it's going to be over what I paid for. And that's so usually eighty to a hundred. It's yeah, it wound up more than quadrupling the cost of what I paid for it, and I was just like that's in awesome. shock. I was like, "Wow, I, I didn't expect that," but I didn't mark it up to get that much either. Yeah. So right. yeah, and sometimes I think that it really just has risen, and then other ones are literally just scalpers, like you're saying, where they bought it all, so they now get to set the price. Well, they, they did that to me with the um, Speedia 500 collection with the Cosmos figure. It was a Walmart exclusive. The uh, scalpers went out and they pre-ordered them to death until there was literally nothing to even see on the shelves. Yep. And then that day, uh, after they got them, they had them up on eBay and other stores for over $80 a figure. And we're talking about a figure that was $24.95. was $25. <laughs> they had it marked up to 80 and it was the only way you could get it because they weren't available on hasbro pulse they weren't available on walmart they just yeah yeah they Ridiculous. bought them all it sucks and i will say it sometimes hasbro sees that shit happen and they will re-release those figures again hopefully they re-release that figure because it looked like it was a really nice figure and i always wanted a really nice articulated cosmos figure but mm -hmm. We'll see. Yeah, and if they we'll quietly see. release them too, it can help because then the scalpers aren't alerted to go back and buy the next batch. Yeah, like if they just quietly get more on the shelves. Yep. Yeah. Those but um. So I, I'm going to break in with a toy break on this one. Uh, Trino probably interested in this one, and uh, no doubt that she'll be interested in the toy review that follows up right behind the toy break. So guys. Let's see what I broke out for a toy break this week. Guys, we are hanging out with Stripe the Horica Pig. Oh, Stripers. And we are getting ready for a toy break right here. So what did we pick up this time? This time we got ourselves a mystery box. But we got Chucky, Tremors, Halloween 2, They Live, Horror Classic, Series 2, Blind Box. So we're going to have to open this one up and see what we got. Go. Inside, you got a nice little bloody crate. Let's open her up. Oh, yeah, we got the They Live Alien. Now, the crate has a few more things in it. We'll get in that in a second. He actually put the top back on the crate. And he's got two peg holes right here that you're supposed to be able to put the figure on. Let's see if he actually makes it onto the peg holes. And, yes, he does. And there you go with They live alien so he comes with this little almost like a photo of him smalls horror classic stripe i see you a uh, little sticker and then of course you get the checklist now i miss these things from back in the day when everything had a checklist but there goes the checklist of everything for series two pretty pretty neat 
I dig this. I think I might have to pick up a few more of these. Uh, just hope that I don't get ones that I don't want, uh, Chucky. Anyway, guys, be sure to let Strike know what you thought about this toy break. cool i yeah, you got the, the they live alien that's awesome yeah. and that's kind of the one i was hoping to get quite honestly it's not that i have anything about getting michael myers and uh, even the tremors one to a degree but i sure as hell didn't want chucky I, <laughs> I i am not a fan of chucky never have been um i nah i got i got something that i was actually looking for it would have been even better if i'd gotten the mystery chase version of them which i think is like a silverish silverish color or maybe a maybe even a black and white version, but oh, nice. I found out after the fact on the bottom of the crate, they actually have the name of the movie listed, but unfortunately I went to a store and I was looking at the blinds. You cannot see that whatsoever unless maybe you take a razor blade with you and cut the section of it open or <laughs> figure out the serial numbers. Cause I know a lot of people do that with the blind boxes. They figure out what the serial number actually contains what figure. So that's oh. that, isn't that what you got when uh when you were up here and we went to the store you got that sonic figure for your daughter that was one of those blind uh was, yes uh, yes blind box or, or it, that was in like some sort of like tin wasn't it yes it was yeah. yes it was did you find those at tar at target yes i did all right cool i'm gonna keep my eyes open nice yeah, they're pretty cool. I, I like those little things, especially when they're decent looking. I thought that mm -hmm. one was pretty decent looking. So yeah, yeah, you look good. But um, yeah, if you if you end up like stuck with a Chucky one, I'll I'll take that for you. Okay. Well, I mean, the next time I have a care package, uh, if I do wind up with one, I'll send it your way because me awesome. no one, me no one. I, I I don't need it. Uh, I don't need those little uh dolls that it was stolen from in the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> my body but, uh, and me so that one obviously going horror related that is going to be my next topic my next toy topic and this one it came out a while ago but i wound up getting it for my anniversary i did announce that i would be doing a video on this one so here we go with some more horror fun welcome back as we're hanging out with Stripe. The horror icon pig, best hair on YouTube, Stripe. Stripe's getting his nom on as we were getting ready to look at our next horror-related figure. This one technically could be superhero too, but Stripe is getting the tap on this one as we are getting ready to look at something from NECA, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, crossover with Universal Monsters. We've got Raphael as Frankenstein's monster ultimate action figure. This one looks pretty cool. This one came out quite some time ago. The new one is already out as Raphael as the Wolfman. But I got this one for my anniversary, and we are finally getting around to checking this one out. This looks pretty damn cool. There's a look at it inside the packaging before we open it up. So let's go ahead and get this one out and take a look at it. It's alive. So here we go with Raphael as Frankenstein's monster right out of the box. One thing I will note about this one is if we get close up on him, all the amazing detail that is sitting in this figure, like just in the face alone, all the little staples, the stitches, there's all kinds of like little mole marks and everything on the side of his head. Uh, I don't know how much this is going to capture of it, but this is really amazing. Uh, the little dial that he has, the little pressure gauge that he has sitting right there, it's all cracked, it's all busted up looking. The chain that's around his waist, and it's got like this rusted look to it too, and that, that is a real chain. All the stitching in the pants, the bolts down at the bottom of the ankles. A sewer grate bolted onto his back on his cracked shell and another pressure gauge right there again 
another pressure gauge that's got cracks in it. It's got like, you know, stains and everything else, like in the hoses and the wires coming out of it, coming back up to them, like really amazing stuff. Like even in the arms, all the little stitching that he has in the arms and hands. He's even got like a plate on this one, bolted up to the arm. Really cool looking stuff. So let's check him out with some extras and of course, see what kind of articulation he has. After these messages, we'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, that thing looked awesome. Yeah, I, of course, of course, I got the second part, but I wanted to just talk about all the detail on that thing. Uh, go ahead, Trina. I know you wanna you wanna get on on that. Yeah, I was just gonna say, what a awesome looking thing. It. I'm not even a, a Team and T fan. I just not not because I don't like them. I just never got into them. But I almost want to get those just because of how good that looks. Mm -hmm. I wow, that that's impressive, really. Yeah, they look really good. Very. It, it, it was all all the little yeah. finer details that really blew me away. Like you know, when I got to see this thing in the store, and I thought it looked pretty cool, and I was like, ah, eh, I don't know, I don't know. Then, like I said, my wife got it for me. I already had the Leonardo as the creature from the Black Lagoon. Then she got me this one. So as a collector, once you go past one and you get into two, that's when you get to the range that you've got to get more because you just can't help it at that point. So that's where I'm stuck now. I'm looking for more of them. Now, I did see the Wolfman, and I am I'm eyeballing that one. But I'd like to get the Mummy, the Michelangelo Mummy, and I know that's been floating around for a little bit cheaper price in the uh, Donatello. As yeah, the, I've been uh, looking for man. the Michelangelo Mummy one. But uh, I yeah, all nice, all the, that one, all the finer details all the way around this entire figure. Once you get it in your hand, like I was saying, like there's little moles and like almost stuff that looks like um, moss growing on the side of his head and everything, like because from he was underwater, like all those little details that they add into the figure, it's just absolutely outstanding. Yeah. I was, I yeah. really was absolutely blown away by that. Yeah, I, I saw the Leonardo the other day. I wanted him so badly, but I, I was already tapped out this month, so I'm like, shit, I had to put him back. Um, Best Buy had him. So I don't know, check your areas. Maybe, maybe they got them. But uh, yeah. next time I go in there, uh, yeah, if I got the funds for it, I'll, I'll end up getting it. Yeah, let, text me and let me know what you're looking for, and I'll keep my eyes out, too. Yeah. Well, like I said, the money was tight. That's why I didn't get them. But, yeah, seeing the Leonardo in hand, I was like, son of a bitch, this looked good. Frankie's like, yeah, man, you got to get this. I'm like, I can't right now. No, I'm yeah, telling you, man, I was that. absolutely I was absolutely impressed with that one, too. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I could care less for the Hunchback version, but yeah. the Creature one, yeah. Yeah, oh, these yeah. two are incredible. And I I passed on this Raphael a couple of times when he first came out. I, I I told you, didn't I? I'm like, he looks really good. I wasn't getting these mashup ones, but he looked really good. <laughs> this just confirmed it. Yeah, it's a beautiful I, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Lurch. Did you have anything else you, you were going to add to that? Oh, I was just going to say uh, this kind of is a testament to what we were talking about, about how if you have a decent sculpt and a good mold, they can be really detailed. Because mm -hmm. we were talking about those magician figures earlier. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By the and way, absolutely, you, and this is not a mold that they're reusing for anything else. NECA's doing it. Why can't the other companies? Exactly. Yeah. And you want to know, and I'm Well, you that's right now, pretty exclusive when you make a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle into a universal monster. You're not really going to reuse yeah, that mold. Yeah, yeah, there's no reuse. If anything, maybe a weapon or something. But um, yeah. Yeah, that's that's literally, again, NECA, they, the artists who are working there are former McFarlane employees. So that's why that same quality is there because they always love that type of stuff and what we were doing. That's why you can see the quality is still in NECA's favor and it's going to keep going up because those people, they'll do both. They'll have, they'll have um, some that they'll do on the computer. They'll have some that they actually, they're real, they're really sculpted pieces. They use clay awesome. still. Yeah. So, I mean, and you can tell, you can tell the difference. Awesome. Um, so I, I know chaos. Hoy was uh, asking, uh, what what's it rated uh we didn't get to that part yet we're going to get to it right now so here goes the second half we're going to show off the rest of Raphael with all his articulation and the accessories now he does not come with a ton of accessories but quite honestly i don't think this one needed but here we go here we go what Raphael is frankenstein's monster with two of his extra close fists 
Uh, you can see that there's actually really good pivots in the wrist. On both wrists, they actually pivot in both directions, which is really cool. Usually they only either pivot inwards or maybe up and down if it's a shooting arm. But no, nah, these uh, pivot in both directions. Really cool, of course, to turn air at the rest. He's got a nice turn at the forearm at the end of the elbow, as well as a double joint elbow. It is a little bit restricted because of the elbow pads. He's got decent movement up in the shoulders. It moves up a decent amount. Yeah, you kind of can watch the wires that are on the back where you can actually pull them. He does have a turn at the bolt portion of his neck and at the top of the head as well with a nice ball on the end of that. So you can kind of get his head tilted in a couple of different angles. There is absolutely no waist turn. Double jointed knees, once again, the knee pads on this one do restrict it ever so slightly, but really good pivot and rock down at the feet. And I, I will say that this is a very bulky figure. So once again, when the bulky figures have this much movement, in, I'm actually kind of astounded by that. Oh, so you want to do this for real? Here we go with Raphael's Frankenstein's monster with his last two hands so he can grip those lightning bolt-esque size that he comes with. Really, really nice figure overall. Um, I will say because it is a big blocky figure, of course with the blocky figures, you're always gonna lose a little bit of articulation, but there is still quite a bit in this one. It also has the big metal loops in the front where you can put both of his bolt size in the front. You do kind of play with the chain a little bit to move that out of the way so you can slide them down in there, but they fit. Now, even though this one doesn't have perfect articulation, I think it can be overlooked with all the detail that was put into this figure. The way this figure feels very solid in the hands, it feels like a well-made figure. Because of that, I can give this one a very solid 9 out of 10. Anyway, guys, that is all we have on this one. Another addition to that ever-growing TMNT Universal Monster Collection. Guys, be sure to let strike the horror icon pig know what you thought about this one. Turtle power. <laughs> there it is. Somebody has to say it or yep. poor Papa is going to lose his mind in the chat. Dude, yeah. Not I'm flasher, but I would have said it if he didn't. <laughs> Th that figure is amazing. Yeah, I, I, like his, I, I like his square boots. It's funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's it, great. It, I love those lightning bolt size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, furthermore, did you notice that the upward swept cross guard was meant to look like top loads on electrodes? Yeah. Like, yes, yeah. I did. You know, the electricity that brought him back to life in the old settings. Yep. yep with the electrodes. That it, it, It's just so impressive to me. I can't get over it. It is. So these were guys, uh, Vinny, you're saying the NECA guys were the ones who were doing, like, the the good the era of Nick Marlin, like the... Yeah, the, the, yeah I, the, I work, the, I work the with... Early most, 2000s era, right? Yeah, or all around that time. Um, yeah, I, I, most of those packages, uh, the packaging, when, when you see who worked on it, I, I know, like, maybe 90 to 100% of the people that are on there. Oh, cool. There might be one name that I don't recognize or two names. But yeah, um, from from the paint department guys to yeah, who's sculpting it? And, because uh, that era, they gave a fuck about details. Not well, everything, not everything was articulated well, and not everything could stand up well. But you know, it sure looked good. Oh, absolutely. I, well, that's the thing. The reason why stuff kind of why they broke and stuff that's more of like the cheap plastics that they were using, or that McFarlane didn't want certain things a certain way, so we have to go another route, and it's like, oh my god, like. We could have had a perfect figure here, but he didn't want to do this type of articulation. He didn't want this. He didn't want that. You know, so it was, we were always kind of fighting him on stuff. Uh, when I was there, our crew, we we got him to do more articulated figures, but some of the stuff we wanted to do, like some shit, dro they dropped the ball on because the guys who were involved, they were trying to go too over the top, trying to reinvent the wheel, and you're not supposed to do it. Like... Um, for example, there's that medieval spawn. His shoulders, he should have had regular ball jointed shoulders. That's what he was sculpted to have. And one of the guys who was working on the, on the articulation, he cut into the actual clay and removed out sections and did a weird hinging 
looped over a double hinge joint thing. And it's like, what okay, the hell? Wait, 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 wait. Are you talking about this one? Hang on a second. The original one? The, it was the medieval Viking line. Oh, okay. Spawn, whatever. He, he had a big battle axe. Okay. Not not the OG one. No, not that one. No, no. Okay. That, that, that's regular medieval spawn. Yeah, this is the very first. Yeah, yeah. The, the one first I'm, line. This is like yeah. the 94 line. Yeah, that's that's the four horsemen, the ones who ended up doing the Mattel He-Man stuff. Um, they worked in those original ones. The one I'm talking about uh, and that I was involved in was the uh, the Viking Viking Dark Age. I was some stupid title. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, ha I had yeah. one at one point. I think yeah, I, I designed all of those and the variants that made it to KB where they had the alternate heads and different paint jobs. Um, but yeah, they screwed up the articulation on a couple of those figures because they wanted to, they thought that they could reinvent the wheel. I'm like, what are you doing? Like ball jointed shoulders are fine. If you want to do butterfly joints, that'd be cool. But a guy was retarded who did it. Because guy, that spawn, that that um, that medieval spawn, mm -hmm. his cape. Because like I, they always McFarlane always had plastic or, or rubber capes. Yeah. And this one, I don't like the. I love that figure. Mm -hmm. That's the very first McFarlane figure I ever owned. A fucking. Uh, the shoulders it's the shoulder peg pads with a peg and yeah. there's a loop there's like a, a plastic like molded loop yes yeah 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 i remember i had all those too yeah yeah what <laughs> when i left it's that's the one professional thing i didn't do when i left <laughs> i i i chopped off the fingers on some of those spawns or it was just the middle finger that was up in the air <laughs> Let's uh, see if you part. really wanted to get him. We should have stole all the cans of tuna out of his yeah. office. But it wasn't. It wasn't so much for Todd. It was for the the dickheads who were running the uh, uh, the studio because those guys ran it into the ground. No, then you should have ran around and kicked them all in the balls before you left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Maybe one day uh, I'll give a full breakdown of. Uh, we'll do a whole toy stream just on the McFarlane experience. <laughs> uh, did you want to go again, Vinny, or? Yeah, uh, I actually, yeah, I could. Uh, it, it connects to the older stuff. Well, the stuff from last week. I, I just continued some of the um, uh, the Marvel stuff. Yeah, share screen. Here is the uh, the ninety seven uh, Wolverine X Men ninety seven Wolverine. I said, yeah, let me just uh, jump into this guy. And uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be that long of a. A, a, a review, but this guy really impressed me. I was not expecting this figure to be as good as as he was, because I figure like a lot of it was like they just kind of tweaked the original molds of a couple other pretty good Wolverines they had, but um, they kind of upped it um, even more so than that. So I mean, we, we've all seen him in packaging already. So I'll just jump a little bit, but uh, the face sculpt on the unmasked version, holy crap! They did a really excellent job on that. Um, and, and I have a feeling they might reuse that face because the hair is separate. Like uh, that's something new that they're doing now with most of their, uh, their figures. So in order, I guess, not to do paint, if they just mold like the hair by itself solid, uh, it, it's kind of a good trick, but, um, that means you could also, yeah, you could reuse parts of it. So if they want to have a more detailed sculpted hair on, but keep that face for another line or another wave um it would work because the expression is pretty good it's, it's very logan um but yeah he he's very nice he's like first impressions out of the box very solid uh, he feels good too like it's not just like a cheap kind of flimsy look feeling figure um usually when, when you have a figure that's a little bit small they, they feel kind of cheap but uh he's pretty solid it's, it's pretty good i like that thing with the the mask folded back. I, yeah, I was about to point that out. I was going to say that is cool. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. If you've seen in the package, it, there was a mask on the right hand side that where yep. it looked like the mask was squashed down. That's actually that piece right there. So when you pop that, yeah, pop I, the thought, off, I, thought that like a, a, I thought it was the. I thought it was an alternative mask, like that was supposed to be like the original, where you had the really small, uh, like yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. More like like a kind of cat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah I know what you meant. Yeah. Wait, they the did little release... classic mask that superheroes wore forever that just covered your eyes and not even your nose. It was like a little bit. It went up a little bit. It wasn't like they, wide they, like that. 
they did release that OG version, that very first appearance of him in the in the Hulk book. Uh, it was a two pack with one of the Hulk figures. Um, kind of, I want to say maybe 15 years ago, maybe 20 almost. But um, yeah, it was it was a pretty nice looking one. Um, but yeah, I, I I love the classic colors. Like it really works. Like 97, they they did a very impressive job, even with the pinless joints here, and they sculpted the hair. Um, I never really seen them sculpt that before. Uh, it's usually all smooth. They, they might do like a cheap little kind of, you know, yeah. hand painted looking kind of fur or some shit on them. But uh, they actually sculpted it this time. And I, I was impressed. I, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, you can actually look up at the stars. That's pretty cool. Like yeah, which their is, head doesn't pivot that far back. Yeah. And the butterfly joints are fantastic on this guy too. That, yeah. Yeah, like they re-engineered it a little bit. So it's not I think like that's probably the best X-Men figure or in general, these are probably the best X-Men figures that have ever been made because they weren't like super high end in the past. They were uh, expensive, yeah. but they, you they know, got they better as they went along. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Cause the technology just, as well. Like yeah. any others, like even like the, the toy biz ones, the, those early toy biz ones, like when they started getting better with the, the designs and everyone didn't look like they had a friggin' crowbar shoved up their ass. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> And this yeah, was all early they, figures were too rigid. They didn't look lifelike. Yeah, I, I, I know agree. what you mean. Yeah, but again, they were just you know just kind of learning it or yeah, figuring yeah. out how, how to make it work. Like that diaphragm cut and the one that Tommy showed on that Spider Man, like that was impressive for back then. Yeah, you know, I mean, we yeah. still see some figures sure. that they they don't do that. Um, but yeah, I, I was gonna say uh, it's cool too with this guy because previous Wolverines they just have like the blue underwear straight through. They don't put that extra uh, on the thigh, and they actually did it with this guy. They sculpted it down onto the thigh on that upper part. So it looks like more like the proper kind of shorts he's supposed to be wearing. Um, so that was cool. That, I, that was um, nice to see that they, they thought a little bit more about it. He still does have boot cut as well because most of the figures in this wave, they don't really have that. Uh, there's a handful of figures that do and, yeah, some of them that don't. But, um, pretty good. His, his articulation is fantastic. For a smaller figure um and yeah his alternate hands are just the closed fist without the you know his his uh, blades kind of coming out which that's the only thing that i had an issue with if you're going to put alternate hands in there you might as well put alternate hands that are open as well or like grasping hands or some kind of like you know with a little bit of character you could do that because they've done it with gi joes they've done it with other uh figure lines um even some other Marvel Legends. If this is a line that, again, they're going for more like around $25, um, like retail, put those extras in. Make people happy. Like this was cool with the alternate head and the mask down. Like that was excellent. But, you know, they kind of shortchanged people as well. Uh, throw, the, throw the extra hands in there. People want that. The little uh, – because, I mean, this figure is near perfect. And, yeah, that's the, uh, the Hugh Jackman one to show you the height difference. Since uh, yeah, the, the Hugh Jackman uh, Wolverine is again he's he's six three so um, yeah how how tall Wolverine should be to how they put him in the movies exactly yeah. but still that is a beautiful freaking figure as well I, I've I've had it for a put, number of years you put the Hugh Jackman head on him yeah I wanted to show yeah, so, yeah if, if people have, if they wanted to do it they could do it and he looks like a midget <laughs> well, that, that's the thing is but. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, overall, I didn't actually, in some of the early X-Men movies, get the impression that he was that tall. I mean, I yeah, knew they, he was too tall to be playing the character of Wolverine, but, like, I didn't think he was 6'2". I thought maybe 6' foot, because Wolverine was literally an average height person in the cartoon. No, Wolverine oh, in the Wolverine comics, was 5'3". Five 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 well, yeah, five yeah, three, I guess so. Yeah. He was, like, really short, yeah. Yep. That's what I remember, that, like because he, wa he sometimes like ran on all fours periodically and then would stand upright, and he was never that tall. Yeah. Well, that was the point of the character. That's why he was called Wolverine, because they, yeah. they're yeah. some of the smallest, most vicious animals. So, you know, but uh, yeah. Yeah, and, he was like the he was him and Puck. <laughs> yeah, Puck <laughs> like is smaller. The, yeah, they're like the only superheroes that Spider-Man towers over. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Spider Man's your average hero height. He's about 5'10, 5 5'11. 5 yeah, Spider Man's yeah. not supposed to be tall at all. Well, he's not supposed yeah, to be tall. Yeah, but I guess he's not short either. Yeah, is right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Spider Man was your every guy, your every man. So, 
But uh, this, the other Wolverine is pretty cool. That's the one that's in the two pack with Sabretooth. Um, he's kind of regular street clothes with his cowboy hat. Um, yeah, that that's a really nice one. I'll be reviewing that that two pack soon. Do you but, think uh, they're going to end up doing Old Man Logan at some point? They did. Uh, he came, he came out of I want to say maybe three years ago. Well, they, added, they, added, they added these newer ones that they're doing now, where so much more has already been improved. They're probably going to do a Weapon X one. If they oh, do, they, cool. they should they should make it more detailed. Because uh, the one that was released was like uh, it, he's like a cheap looking figure. Like even At least Storm came case. with that alternative head so that she could have decent looking hair. Oh yeah, that that Storm's fantastic. She was a two pack that came out about two years ago. With, okay, uh, that's what that is. I thought that was the new one. I was like, oh, good. It came with an alternative head that wasn't no, 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 no. or whatever. No, the half the, cut. Well, that's why I I, I wasn't going to waste money on, on the 97 Storm. I didn't like the Mohawk and that bright white costume of hers. Um, yeah. My preferred Storm is that one that you see here. And that's what she was in that two pack that came out with Warpath. Uh, I want to say, I think it was two years ago. Um but yeah, I'm happy I picked it up because yeah, that's that's the only time you're gonna see that figure because they they deem that outfit that outfit too sexy, and I don't see them re reissuing it at all because Hasbro are a bunch of pussies uh, for what they did to the Goblin Queen. She was supposed to be those boots were thigh highs, and you're supposed to see flesh, and in the figure they actually paint it like it's like pantyhose or stockings or something like it's almost all black going all the way up, and that's not how she appeared in the cartoon. Um, or any of that, so um, yeah, as is Hasbro doing those stupid decisions. Uh, and uh, that Deadpool that's the movie one. Um, he's probably one of the best Deadpools you're ever gonna find. So if you do happen to see him, don't sleep on him. I know that they're, re they're re releasing him and that Wolverine I showed before, the Hugh Jackman one. Um, it's gonna be like a black packaging that's like a Deadpool collection, and yeah, they are reissues of uh of of uh, previous uh releases because the one in the white tank top i believe he was an amazon exclusive but now you're going to be able to get them in stores um with the proper you know with the proper head and everything because the one that i have in this review was also from a it was a different huge one. so uh, but yeah it's funny it's everyone loved, preferred that look that version and that's what they're re-releasing <laughs> so there you go but, um but yeah uh, these are awesome these are a beautiful set and just kind of wanted to show you um the different stuff that we got here but yeah that costume to me that's the definitive way storm should be looking um yeah that, that kind of 70s and early 80s kind of version of the og storm look yep that's that's the one to do it um uh, jump a little bit yeah here's that saber tooth so I'll, I'll be doing a full review on him and that and the wolverine with the red shirt um yeah that, that's a 50th anniversary two pack which I got damn lucky when I did finding him. Um, I, I actually got it the day it was released uh, at GameStop. Uh, I, I, I saw it like on a fluke. So um, I, I contacted them and they're like, oh, yeah, we got one in the store. So I had them hold it and I'm glad I did because, yeah, that thing, you can't find it anywhere right now. And it was only, it's only been released, like, it's only been about a week. Because that's your, that your classic. For Deadpool. <laughs> that's perfect. <What> <laughs> I said the pose for Deadpool. That's oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had to have fun with that. Uh, like I said, that Deadpool's amazing. If you happen to see him with this new release coming out soon, jump on it. Yeah, he's he's fantastic. And he comes with a bunch of different hands. He he comes with I think like eight sets of hands. Cool. So yeah, that's that's what you want. And uh, yeah, I had to put these together since I still have the juggernaut out. Um, I knew I was doing more expert uh, figure reviews, so. There you go. And uh, again, I, I, they work. Do you know? They, they look uh, fantastic. Does the juggernaut have swappable hands or is it just the fists with well this this one was um a build away figure, but the one that's the re-release that's coming out soon, yep. he's gonna have alternate hands where they're open. So you could yeah, he's gonna come with closed fists and and, cool. and open hands. Yeah, and yeah. he comes with a really nice looking Colossus figure. Yeah, that Colossus figure looks incredible. I don't know why they haven't released him single carded, but yeah. Oh, I love the way you have these guys posed. This is awesome. Oh, thanks. Well, that yeah, that's what I was trying to do because I'm trying to do that with more Wolverine of these kind of reviews. Wolverine. I did it a, a little bit early on, but yeah, 
get them in different poses to kind of help some people. Cause I heard from uh, some of the comments on, on older figures that they're like, Oh yeah. Could you, could you get them in more kind of crazy poses? Cause like, I suck at doing poses. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out some, some cool ones uh, for these reviews. You know, yeah. and I remember in the cartoon, yeah, he, he, he kind of, he was slashing at that helmet to get it off. And the other X-Men were kind of distracting him and fighting him. And when it comes off, then you have, uh, Jean Grey using her psychic powers there to kind of, you know, stop him. <laughs> but from what I understand too, he doesn't he doesn't use the stone anymore to turn into the Juggernaut. He has another power source. Hmm. They did a mini series I think a couple of years ago. My friend was telling me about it. So, but all in all, though, uh, pretty damn cool. And yeah, you get your kind of. I love that I'm, I'm having more of this kind of classic collection now of, of X-Men. I've been wanting them. I had a handful here or there. Yeah, this guy was near perfect, 9.5. 9. The only thing that I said uh, why he, he doesn't get a perfect 10 out of 10, he should have came with those extra hands, something a little bit more. Since they went ahead and they gave you the alternate head with the hood down, he's super articulated. The paint's pretty good on this dude. With what little that's there, you, you know what you know what would have worked for me, Vinny. What's that? An extra hand mm -hmm. where he's holding a cigar. Oh, that absolutely would be great! <laughs> absolutely. My that only gripe is I wish they colored his the hair on his arms. Yeah, I said it during during the review. Um, if they did like a, a dry brush, yeah, like that could that could work. I might actually do it myself, but yeah, that would look really good. I think the only reason why they didn't. Is because it's the animated version, so that's oh, why. Yeah. yeah, to fit in the rest of, of the wave for both series one and two, it it's more of solid colors. They don't really have. They didn't really do too much shading or anything like that on any of them. The only thing that you you have like that is the Magneto with the helmet. They kind of did like the black around his eyes, but other than that, yeah, it's yeah, I, I agree. But I got a feeling they're gonna they're gonna reissue this guy later on, and they'll probably do stuff like that. I think on, on a different well, I, I know that one when I'd seen it early on, I seen it in a few stores and it, it didn't stay in the stores for very long. Like I seen it for a few yeah. weeks and then all of a sudden they were gone. And once they were, it was the same thing with the Magneto, like once they were gone, they were just gone. You, you didn't see them anymore after that. Yep. So, I mean, obviously people were pretty impressed with that thing enough that they were snatching them up in droves. Yeah, for sure. I think with some of the people that were doing reviews early on, because like, oh, I already have this, or I kind of, I, I have a similar one. Do I really need this? And when they saw that there actually are brand new molds, or that they really fixed things, Jean Grey's brand new. Um, that that whole body mold is something that they've never done before. Um, the Cyclops I reviewed, I think they they said there was a version of him that was released previously, but then again, they perfected it. And then gave you different accessories, different hands, different heads, and all that stuff. So I mean, they're stepping it up. So that's good. It's good to see that they're they're putting some quality back into certain waves of figures. And, and you know, and that's one of the things we talk about. And I, I, uh, some of us have our pet peeves about some of these companies that are putting these things out. But yeah, if it's something that they're absolutely capturing from your childhood or just something that's a really fantastic memory of yours. There's nothing wrong with picking them up, especially when they're doing them absolutely right. Cause as, as much as I hate the idea of certain companies getting money, you're absolutely le letting them know what you do like. And, you know, sometimes that shit's on their parade just as much as you not buying it because they're like, okay, well we put all this work into this newer stuff and they don't want that. They want this older stuff. And that drives them just as batshit crazy. So uh, kind of keep yeah. that in the back of your mind as well. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Awesome. That and that is a very awesome looking Wolverine. Now, yeah. I mean, I, you know, if it wasn't for my hang up with Disney, I yeah. definitely would have snagged it. That and the Magneto, the Bishop, mm -hmm. the, and the Gambit too, and the Rogue. Like, I'd seen all those in the store firsthand, and I was like, wow. Yeah. Uh, there's it, another one I keep seeing in the store right now. They've got a tombstone out from the Spider-Man line. Yeah, I see that. It's far too accurate. Oh, and awesome. matter of fact, I will have it mm -hmm. in in one of my uh, in my uh, toy hunt video that's coming up. And yeah. I, I think I, that thing looks fantastic. I saw him as well. Um, yeah, the same day that I saw that, that, uh, that Leo, uh, the Universal Monster Leo. He looked really good. I, I wasn't expecting that figure to look that good in hand. 
and the alternate head with like the open mouth or the, uh, I think you already had grit and grit and teeth. The paint job on the teeth were holy shit. It was good, man. With the gloss finish and everything. I, I was not expecting that quality. So yeah, absolutely they, terrific. Yeah. They're, they're doing really good shit now, but yeah, Tommy, if you do happen to see that Wolverine uh, again, I know it's kind of, I would pull the trigger. He's, he, that's a solid figure. And things have been kind of tough lately, but yeah. No, that's I'm, a discussion for another stream. <laughs> yeah. I told you that's why I passed on two things I definitely wanted. <laughs> uh, Soul Assassin, uh, if you were to set a grading system for figures, what would be the main things you review for a figure? Size, paint, accessories, uh, a little bit of everything. Um, mm -hmm. One of the things that I'm, I'm very much a stickler for is seeing figures in their posing to be able to get down to a kneeling position. Because if a figure can get down to a kneeling position, they just about hit everything right on a figure and of yeah. course you know making sure that you get everything accurate like all the paint is done properly and everything and detailing is another thing like i love to see these figures mm -hmm. with really good detail on them especially like the, with that tmnt one i did earlier like the the amazing detail on that thing regardless a little bit of a lack in the way of articulation because how blocky he was and how the knee pads and elbow pads were kind of holding up the elbow and knee joints it was absolutely forgivable, and that's why he got a 9 out of 10, because of all the extra that they went with the detailing on there. So it, it's a little bit of everything. Now, the TMNT figure didn't come with as many accessories, but it didn't hold back on what I felt the value of that figure should have been rated at. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah and as far as the information on the that, um, TMNT Universal Monsters one that you did, Tommy, is Frankenstein isn't very articulated to begin with, so that it really um, doesn't have to be that kind of figure. So it really does work. It, I think all the details kind of make up for that. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. um, a, a little bit of a minus on the, on the posability, but definitely plus in the um, detailing department. No, absolutely. And I couldn't agree more. And I, I think that's why Vinny gave this Wolverine such a high score, too, because there, there was enough detail in there. And because they were going for cartoon accurate and mm -hmm. not like comic book page accurate, I think they absolutely nailed it on that one. Yep. And I remember telling Vinny a long time ago when I first seen it, I said, it looks like an amazing figure. It, it yeah. really does. And it yeah. really ate me up alive that I couldn't get it because, uh, well, because of how stubborn I am about a certain yeah. company. Well, but you were, yeah, you were 100% right because I said, yeah, I passed on him the first two times I saw him because one time I saw him in a comic shop, way too much money. And the second time I'm like, I, I got something else that I really wanted. And again, it's just, it's trying to figure out, you know, what you have funds for. Uh, but that last time I saw him, he was kind of hidden behind something else in, in one of the uh, game stops. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to get him. And I'm happy I did because I never saw him again after that. So. Awesome cool. stuff. Yeah, good uh, stuff. Yeah, uh, good. They, they don't really do hand painting anymore. Not not really, unless you're talking about like statues and stuff. Yeah, the statues, yeah, they definitely do. But yeah, these these figures now, they're all mass produced. They're using a digital kind of painting now for the faces. Mm -hmm. So that, that's why they're so... They're printed so, on. Yeah, they're yeah. printed on. It, it, it's amazing how they do it. Yeah, it's it's really impressive stuff. Yeah. And oh, the, uh, the pinless joints that you don't see the holes in the arms and the legs anymore uh that's that's an injection mold that's how they do that so okay they, that makes sense yeah i and, didn't even know that part i'm like i i would imagine yeah it because it, it's like a ship in a bottle you know you just have to figure it out when you look at it mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah it, it's pretty cool though i'm glad that they're 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 doing different things and they're trying to make fans happier at, at these different companies uh, like that's what they need fans, to do i mean who are yeah. they selling to if they're not selling to the fans and uh exactly. yeah uh, trina and i both have got that one frankie if you're talking about the NECA one absolutely fantastic mm -hmm. yeah. Kessler, oh, yeah, Kessler Wolf. yeah you have no idea how lucky he got because i'm sitting there in the store I'm, I'm looking at two things i'm like all right i gotta get this other one he goes holy shit did you see this i said what i looked down and it was like on the bottom shelf he found he found that one the american werewolf of london and he goes dude should i get it i'm like uh yeah let's, let's check the price or whatever and uh yeah he was he was going for like 30 bucks Oh wow! Awesome. Yeah, I when he when he retail wasn't he around fifty? Uh, yeah. no, he was about. I, I thought he was like a, I thought he was like a thirty eight. I thought for some reason. I paid more for mine, but I got him at um, the collectible 
the comics and collectible shop I go to, um, okay. mm. New Breed Comics, and so they charge a little bit more. Okay. So I, I don't know what the official release price uh, was I'm, for him. I'm pretty sure it was right around 38 because I picked that one up in a Target, and I remember it being under 40. I, I, I've, wow. I've, I've noticed, I have noticed that these different Targets, they're different prices. Because when I first checked, I saw him one time in stores and I went to check. He was over that. He was closer to 50. And that's why I put him back originally. And I went, ah, if I see him again, and I never saw him again. And this time at the store, Frank was like, oh, shit. Well, so I'm like, he wanted him. He got him. So three, you know, Well, three, I mean, that was the same thing with that Predator. They had the uh, the Concrete Jungle Predator. Mm -hmm. And the figure itself exactly. looked really oh, nice. God. But it was a huge figure. And that thing was $49. And it was like, yep. yeah, it's kind of cool looking. But it's not $49. Cool yeah, because I, I remember that werewolf was more than your standard NECA figures. He definitely Vinny, was when I looked at him. Vinny, are you... Do you want um, the that figure, the American Werewolf in London? Well, Frankie snatched them up, so I mean that's cool. I'll, if anything, I'll I'll see if he's cool with me doing the review of them. But, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, I have a good one. Know. I'm not creative. Good night. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm creative. not creative. Yeah. If if I were to get him for that cheap, I probably would have pulled the trigger. But um, yeah, no, that that's a beautiful one. That thing's awesome. Yeah, he is. Awesome. All right, um, I'm going to dig in next with a toy trivia that's going to lead into my next topic. Uh, let's see how many people can even take a guess on this one. Oh, boy. Here we go. Okay, so that's where that started beginning, where they started doing their own thing. Because right. Hasbro and eventually yeah, branched that off. And that, that was the beginning of the end as far as the Generation toy line. It started yeah. with the Pretenders. So uh, mm -hmm. technically it started a little bit with the Headmasters and the Target Masters. And most people have like super fond memories of those lines, but they were actually losing steam. And that's where Hasbro was like, okay, we need to do something on our own. The car wanted no part of it. That line failed miserably, and then it was shortly after that that they created the Action Master line, which completely annihilated Generation 1, and the Transformers were canceled, and so they came up with Generation 2. But uh, yeah, Time Prophet had it. And then they moved you know, on to Beast Wars, and ever, ever em entered the limbo that is the current Transformers franchise in terms of like having something that's as popular as the original. <laughs> I hear you guys, but um, yeah, so this is going to lead into the next topic. And in case you get, haven't guessed it, uh, it is related to the Pretender line. So this is something that it, it's not exactly brand new. This is something I actually found on the store 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 shelf, and I found it for such an amazing price. I was like, okay, I haven't picked that one up, but for this price, I'm going to pick it up. I will get into it in this review. So here we go. Welcome back. As we're getting ready now to look into something that is Transformers related. So from Transformers Legacy and from Transformers the Movie 86 Studio Series, we've got Exosuits Spike Wick Wiki and we have Iguanas. Now I've already done a Spike before and this is actually a second one that I picked up and you probably wonder why well, you already got one, why'd you pick up a second one? Well, the one that I got that I paid full price for, which was almost $13, the box was absolutely destroyed because uh, that's typical Walmart. But every once in a while when you go to Walmart, like I did with these two, you catch a lot of clearance items. And right now, these guys are going for 6 and $5 a piece. So if you have a Walmart and you were thinking about picking up some more 4-class figures, 
look at your Walmarts right now because they have clearances on a lot of these older stock. Here we go with Core Class Iguanas, right out of the box. And in case you're wondering who Iguanas is, I'm going to put a picture up right here. He was a pretender originally, so a much smaller than the pretender version that came out many years ago. But here we got this version. Now let's check out some of the articulation on this guy. Here we go with Iguanas in the kneel position. We got his blaster out. You can see that he does have a little bit of turn in the forearm, so he's able to tuck that under and brace his firing arm. And he does have just enough articulation in his legs and his feet as well for a court class figure to be able to get into a kneeling position. With a little bit of a running pose right here, and you can also see that he has a, does have a nice waist twist as well. Another pose right here with his legs all spread all the way out. He's got up in the air, so he does have a fair amount. He's got a little bit of head turn, not much rock in this one. I guess there's not much movement as part of the transformation, but very, very nice for a core class figure. Here we go with the Glonis all transformed into his bike form. I wasn't really sure what to think about this one at first, but it does come fairly close to what they did in the original one, and technically, this looks better than the original one. Uh, it is kind of sad to say it does lack in the imagination as far as a motorcycle, but it is a lot, a lot better than the original design with that pretender version of Iguanas. Anyway, guys, that is all we have on this one. We are going to give this one, we're going to give this one an 8 out of 10. This is a pretty solid core class figure. The Transformers, more than the eye. The Transformers. Yeah, it's an interesting little guy. Yeah, the Iguana figure. And, and for of, five for five dollars, yeah, yeah, it, it yeah, looks really five, good, and it's got posability. So that's yeah, that's five dollars. Really that is the price they should have been. Those core class. You know yeah. what? I I didn't even mind when the core class were nine ninety nine, but the minute they started getting up to like twelve ninety nine, you know, basically the thirteen dollar range, and for yeah. a while they were actually up to fifteen. Which I just found ridiculous. Um, for for five, yeah, I, I would get these things all day long on sale. So, mm -hmm. and it was nice to find the spike, which they were selling him for ridiculous prices, and on on some of the online sites was, at one time. And he, he was oh, six. Yeah. He was six. He was okay. six. Yeah, he was one dollar more. He was six. So. Wow. Shit. If you see him again, it, six he bucks. picks eight pigs out of ten, four turtles, two goats, and seven ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! That was great. Aos is on the bartering system over here. All right, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Let's let's uh, send animals in for uh, toys. I, I wish we could do that because there's talks. a lot of people I'd like to round up and uh, trade in for toys. Oh man! <laughs> but um, yeah. So uh, did you have anything else, Vinny, or should I get into the uh, toy hunt? Um, I I had one more, but if you want to do the toy hunt, you can do the toy hunt first. Okay, All right. we'll, we'll jump into the toy hunt. So this is, a uh, course, if guys are new and you're seeing this for the first time, what we do on the toy hunt is stuff that I've actually been out in the different stores. Now, I usually mention what store it is, and it's whatever I happen to see that's on the shelves. Uh, sometimes it's making fun of the absolute lack of stock, and sometimes it's things that I'm actually kind of surprised to see on the shelves. So here we go. Then another target. I had a few Masters of the Universe. A bunch of the Turtles of Grey Skull. This time, this one's got Donatello and He Man. So, they seem to be getting more of these in stock at some of these stores. That's pretty cool. And it finally looks like they're just getting rid of all the Mutant Mayhem stuff. It's all just disappearing. Still got a few of the storage shell ones. Once again, look at that. Price actually dropped a little bit down to $11.99. They were $12.99. Maybe uh, Target's learning a lesson about these higher prices. Not getting much in. Looks like they got Doc Ock and you know the rest of the pegs are all still empty. Except for Tombstone. Got Tombstone in. You know, looking over at the G.I. Joe stuff, most of this empty still, but they do have a few of these. So they got our condo. On the cord back, and they got Duke on the cord back now as well.
They also have a recon diver. And they have action soldier infantry. At least they got something their way. It's been quite some time since I've seen anything there. We were in a, a local BJ's, uh, BJ's Wholesale, and look, Mutant Mayhem, <laughs> $6.98. <laughs> this is what happens when you make junk and nobody wants to buy it, it winds up on discount in freaking wholesale stores. Son of a bitch. Go ahead, Vinny. I seen it in the private chat. <laughs> Dude, I didn't know the G.I. Joes are out already. That's the Duke I want. Uh -huh. I, I told you, I always see all this stuff at my stores first. I hope you're doing well tonight, Steve. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Hope you're doing well, it, it is very sparse time profit, and it's a thing I've been talking about with a lot of Hasbro products. A lot of these shelves have been empty, and that's why I was actually yeah. so surprised to see some new G.I. Joes. But go ahead, Vinny. Go ahead. Go ahead, rant. Yeah, no, dude, I I had no clue that those were out. That means Scarlet's out too, on the card back. The the new one, the well, more of the classic look. So yeah, holy shit. Uh, awesome. And I was like the other day, I'm like, should I, ah, maybe I'll swing by Target later in the week. I'm like, oh man, they hit the shelves. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah. Well, I I, I got to see. Maybe I'll message my friend. I'll be like, hey, I, I, I have the I have the magic stores. Yeah, apparently you do. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> That's insane. I'm looking on their yeah, website right now. I don't see anything. And this guy's like, yeah, they're right here. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah, we went out to uh, the BJ's to go pick up some stuff, you know, wholesale club. You get, get bulk stuff a little bit cheaper. And then I seen those things. And I just stopped. And the wife's like, you're going to film it? And I'm like, yeah, I have to film this. This is ridiculous. Six ninety eight for those things. And you just see them at Target for like 14 still. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. Oh. I like how in the toy hunt video, um, it was you were still in Target and uh, you were showing some TMNT figures. And one of them had big eyes like big the big white eyes and it looked like he had that thyroid disorder where it makes your eyes kind of like pop out <laughs> oh yeah he looked like wait, wait, he was no, already filming he looked like he smoked a dust blunt yeah. I remember <laughs> now it was fucking weird looking I remember that oh shit that's great yeah it's the Marty they Coleman got so house. much of that mutant mayhem garbage out there mm -hmm. now I noticed since we're talking about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I've noticed there's a lot of that Mutant Mayhem stuff. I could probably build a, a building out of it for a reasonable price. Oh, wow. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, they've just got shelves stocked full of it. It doesn't really move. The other stuff around it does. Mm -hmm. I just thought they were restocking it really quick at first. I, yeah. I know I don't like it, but that doesn't... I'm starting... It's just sitting there. Oh. Is he uh -oh. wrong? Lurch is kirking. Yeah, you're roboting out. Oh, Shit. oh no. I, oh no, with the internet. Yeah, it happens. Is that any better or is it my connection? Yeah, yeah, you're good now. That's better now. Okay, yeah, that, okay, it was my microphone. It was becoming unplugged. I hadn't checked it. I never really use it except for this, so it just sits there. Oh, you got bumped over time. Yeah. Uh, well, Vinny, it's all yeah. in. You said you got one more, buddy. I do, I do. So, um, we, we actually we got a glimpse of her in the previous uh, review. So I said, let me just uh, I'll get this out of the way. I think I'm pretty much done with the X Men right now. Um, although, uh, I it sucks that I I pass on that Bishop. I'll be I back to it next week. Well, the, well the, yeah, the last time I saw that Bishop, man, it's yeah, he's gone now because he was from the first series. But uh, yeah, here is Jean Grey, uh, the one that I ordered and then saw her two days later at two different stores. And it was kind of furious, but all right. That's I, the I, way it always works. Isn't it? Isn't it? So, but uh, happy she came. And yeah, this was this was a great copy. Uh, paint job was fantastic on this one. Again, your kind of classic packaging that they did, old school. And 
I, I really do like it. They went back to, you know, carded like this. Um, yeah, I, this is the, the proper way, I think, of doing these. And it's cool, too, because all, all you got to do is I took a knife and I just kind of sliced open on the top. So if I want to slide it back in and put it on a wall, I can do that. Um, but, yeah, yeah, these are cool. So happy that they did it and uh, they jump a little bit. Um, fantastic face on this, uh, on both heads. Um, and, yeah, the uh, like I said, the sculpt work on this thing, very impressive. Uh, especially compared to the previous versions, they they had um, two other releases of her in this costume, and they looked terrible. The bodies were just god awful. Uh, they looked like uh, I don't know. Uh, they said that the joints were all like gummy and shitty too, and weak because uh, they were they were like you know double pinned on the knee, double pinned on on the elbow, and they were just no no. It was single single bend in, in the arm. And uh, and the pins and the, the leg, but they said they were flimsy as shit. And uh, again, they, they really did look bad. These have more human proportions, and that's why I like what they're doing on them. And uh, uh, I didn't know what to make because I, I thought that she was going to be very limited for articulation because the whole chest piece is solid. They didn't do a diaphragm cut at all, which surprised me. I'm like, oh, you could do that with this figure, but uh, they didn't. And for the articulation, I, I was okay with it because this character, she's not really known for doing really crazy shit. I mean, because she's a, you know, she, she uses her telekinesis. So she's not actually as physical as the other X-Men because she, she kind of be, you know, one hand on her face and, you know, doing her thing or whatever. But um, it's only when she's like dark Phoenix where she gets more crazy, but um, it, it works. Everything they did here, the sculpt, it's solid. The paint, fantastic. Um, again, with the technology they use for the face, uh, there's the detailing on the back and everything too. Um, more of like the simpler hair kind of design since it is based off the animated one. But they found a good balance where it could still work in your comic book kind of, you know, line. And like if you want to put her on the shelf with comic book ones, that's fine. Um, it's not overly cartoony or anything. But um, obviously, like the hair is a little bit softer. But the face is there, like the sculpt work, the paint job, excellent. Articulation-wise, pretty good. There's a ball joint in there, so you can do the pivot and turns. Uh, the ponytail, also articulated. So that's good. Won't get in the way. So that, that's yeah, always a smart move. Position it. Yep. And the shoulder pieces, they're actually uh, they're separate pieces that are kind of attached onto the shoulder, so they're not getting in the way either. You can get her in any pose that you want with the arms. So that works double joints for the elbows, uh, hinge and, and uh, swivel for the wrist. Um, and yeah, here's the hula hoop diaphragm, which again, I, I was okay with, I thought I was going to hate it, but I, I was cool with it. She doesn't really have to crunch forward. Um, but you know, the kind of tiltage and going back, it, that's fine. I, I, I think it works. Um, and yeah, the legs, it's a decent amount for a split. Uh, upper thigh, double hinge for the knee, and that's all beautiful. It's solid. It does not feel flimsy at all. This this is a very solid figure. Um, no boot cut, but there's enough in the in the feet and the ankles that it works. So um, and yeah, here's the alternate head. So if you want that kind of classic look, you could do that. And I think they did a very nice job. You know, both the faces are, are very good. So. Uh, Trina is obsessed with my thumbs. I see in the private. <laughs> <laughs> I think she just meant really the position. Flexible. The left one is the right one. Not so much. <laughs> <laughs> I was a hand model at McFarlane at one point too. On the uh, my hands are on the instruction manuals for a couple of figures. I that, remember you mentioning that. That's actually awesome. It's on the 18 inch Ash. I, I teach people how to put the batteries in the back. Well, one that I have. Yeah, that's kind of cool to be the animated hands on the back of the box or whatever. Pretty cool. Like, yeah, well, you think like the photographer? I need someone down here that has these looking hands. I got these meat hooks. They're gonna get in the way. <laughs> I'm like, I, I can do it. So, but uh, yeah, uh, yeah, this was a pretty cool figure. Um, obviously, you're not gonna have as much articulation with with this head on because of the hair, but it's still decent. You know, it'll turn side to side, but. Um, it does look excellent, though. This figure, beautiful for the Jim Lee style. Uh, there's Cable, uh, you know, uh, Nathan. 
um yeah so that's uh, before you get sent into the future and uh yeah so i she, that one that the baby came with the goblin queen so uh if you were looking for that one yeah um that, that's who he comes with but yeah there you go there's a happy family for like the 30 seconds that they were together in the comics as well i'm i'm glad that you enjoyed this one fitting it is another one that i i'd seen in a story oh, like, i said dude i'm telling you this one looks fantastic i think you're gonna yeah. like this one yeah she, she's yeah, a awesome. beauty yeah hell yeah and like i said they did a great job with the this aesthetic it looks like a, a fantastic like line they all belong together like it, it just it fits the wolverine uh the magneto like th these are excellent excellent figures and i didn't think i i would have been that wowed by them so um, yeah very cool and yeah there's so you can see a height comparison obviously she's not straight up and down but she's still kind of she's taller than them um yep. which that's what you need. I know the previous version of her in this costume, she towered over other figures and like it just like everything was wrong with those. So I'm, I'm happy I passed on them and got this one. Um, but yeah, they, they did a very, very nice job. Um, let me jump over. And yeah, we see them all together in the previous rotation with Wolverine. But yeah, here she is with the Goblin Queen. So there's her evil clone. And yeah, you're supposed to be seeing skin over there. They fucked up. Um, Hasbro, I don't know what they did, um, but the cartoon itself, and yeah, you could stop on if you, anyone is watching it. I stopped on on three, four is unwatchable. If anyone was curious, but um, yeah, these, these these figures are awesome. What the, the episodes? Yeah, not good. Shit. Yeah, because I, I saw it for free. So I'm like, eh, what the hell? I'll take a look. But yeah, episode three was good, and the fight she had with Magneto was incredible. It was like who, good. Two who had the fight with Magneto? Uh, Goblin Queen. Oh. Yeah, the animation was sick on that. Uh, I, I was I was very impressed by it. But yeah, so uh, all in all, this figure is beautiful. Um, yeah, she she had a pretty good score as well. Um, I, I again I say more throw more hands in the packaging, you know. Um, if they gave her a diaphragm cut, that would have easily been uh, nine out of ten. If she had the diaphragm cut as well, it didn't bother me as much. But if you do want her to be in more extreme poses, like you know when she's float or flying and shit like that, or you know again using her powers, it would have been great. It's, it's very simple, and you, you could have just put that cut in there perfectly without any major issues. You have it on the Goblin Queen; she has it. You know, it's oh, I'll rotate it a little bit. Um, I'll go back to more. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it works on that figure, and they gave her some limitations, too. Like, if you kind of mix some of it, yeah, it's, it's all underneath in there. And it's fine. It looks good. It's clean. doesn't break up the sculpt that much. Uh, but, again, for what they have, it's it's still good. She's still a very, very solid figure. If you want that Jim Lee version, this is the best one. So, yeah, don't sleep on it if you see her. Um, and most people haven't, they haven't been sleeping. These figures sell out all the time whenever they put them on shelves um i the one store that i went to when i saw her the very next day i had to go back for something else i had to get some food or something and i went down the aisle and apparently they had a whole new case that came in and there was just one goblin queen sitting there that's how fast they're selling out it's like less than a day boom gone so yeah um it's kind of refreshing to see it's like when they're done right people will acknowledge it and you'll get your sales when you do it wrong They'll sit there for months and go on, on clearance and then go to Ollie's. Yeah, man. And I'm always I'm always scouting Ollie's to see what yeah. comes in. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting to see some more of those wrestling figures come into Ollie's, the superstar ones. Yeah, I was, I was wondering what, they're, uh, what the next line they're going to have, those guys. Yeah. The ones you're talking about, the AWA style ones, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. if, they, if they release a Piper, I will definitely get that. No, if they if they have a piper, I'm just going to grab it. Now I know Etep's going to want one too, so th mm -hmm. that's going to be at least two. I'm pretty sure Slash is going to want one, so that, and that's four. If they're going to do, <laughs> if they're going to say keep... they were like three or five dollars a figure, uh, they they were three ninety nine. In yeah, that's a really Ollie's. good deal. Oh, yeah, yeah Jesus, Hogan no. and Flair. Because when I was looking in the store, they're I thought they were like twelve something. They're actually like sixteen something in stores. If right they're going to keep. Look, if they're gonna keep doing the AWA figures, they've got to do the Road Warriors because that's where they look. 
Like, you know oh, how many yeah. people I knew had those AWA Road Warriors figures? <laughs> right. I had some. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I had those when I was a kid. Damn. Uh, we're still exchanging live shock in the, the chat for <laughs> figures. Uh, what's going on, Curtis, man? <laughs> Good to see you. Little platypuses. <laughs> Bad profit. Is that because you know what's going to happen soon with WW3? <laughs> we're going to be bartering uh, animals for, for plastic here for toys. <laughs> I'll yeah. tell you what, I'm sitting on a gold mine if that's the case. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jesus. You definitely are. <laughs> But um, is that that everything, Ben? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm tapped out with that stuff. A- anybody else have anything? No, uh, no, I think I'm good. I'm good. No, we're good. Okay, um, we're we're gonna get ready to go into wrap up. Then uh, I want to first off, I want to thank everybody who's been hanging out with us, and uh, hope that you had a good time. Hope you seen some really cool figures that we're showing off our picks of the week, and uh, just had a blast with us. So I'm going to get into. A uh, little segment, another new segment, because apparently I can't stop with new segments. This is a short segment. So this is going to be some of the stuff that I know I will be showing off next week. So, guys, uh, be sure to come back next week for some more fun and goodness on Collectible Past. Next week on Collectible Past. These are a few of the toys that we will be talking about. Be sure to tune back in next week to see what grading we give on these things. Have a good one. Yes, I did finally get the Leonardo one. And yeah, he is supposed to be the heroic leader. So he's supposed to be the He-Man role since He-Man's evil in that line. Yeah. Uh, really cool looking toy, I got to say. Uh, the only thing that kind of bugs me a little bit uh, when I'm looking in the package is his legs look a little small compared to the top half because he looks all blown out and super muscular. Oh. But the legs look skinny. It's kind of like the uh, early Lobo effect, mm-hmm. if you will. <laughs> right. Actually, and Tommy... There, there is one more thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's there's something. I don't know if you saw it yet, but this is definitely something you're going to get. It completes a, way, or a line. Do you know what it is? No clue. Can you guess? I cannot. Papa mm-hmm. Cotton's going to get drunk. Oh, Transformer, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, Swoop. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, you know, I forgot yeah. all about that when I heard that they already uh, announced it. Yeah, he's uh this is his robot mode looks pretty damn good. So, now hopefully the pterodon mode, yeah. The pterodon hell yeah. Mode I was I've been talking about this, the eighty six swoop. Yeah. So yeah. He's, he's coming out soon. That's awesome. Um yeah, I'll definitely be buying this one. Yeah. Which I, I don't know if they screwed up here because what which class is do you think this is? It, he should be in a Voyager class. Yeah, the price on this, uh, I was like, what are they on crack? Yeah. They got him in leader class. Son of a bitch. Yeah, they've got him as a leader class figure. Yeah, that's what they make I said him it was supposed tall? to be a leader class, but I, I yeah, but know. but he's much smaller than the rest of the Dinobots. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know. So I don't know what they were thinking, but yeah, he's fifty-six bucks. He's almost nine inches tall. Yeah, at least he's smaller than Grimlock. Then yeah, at least they'll be somewhat more like cartoon scale, I guess, because they were huge in the cartoon, even though their original toys weren't that large in proximity to the others. They they depicted them as like towering over the other Autobots in the animations, so that's probably where that came from. Yeah, that he well, yeah, if, if it's <laughs> yeah, what do we see? The 86, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that's what I mean. So they're probably going with that where they right. were all bigger than the traditional Autobots, which all get murked in that movie. Yeah, he does look really good, though. Yeah, so there, there you go, Tommy. To I, yeah, I know, I know you've been itching to see this guy. So, oh, yeah, go. I mean, well, the snore one, I got lucky and, and managed to find that one, and uh, you know not got rate for it like uh, some of these people online are doing yep. but um i am looking at that other one too the grimlock 
that's got the uh, unreleased G2 colors. Yep. Which is a Walmart exclusive. I'm still looking at it. They still have it, and I, I am really considerate. The only other one that I've been looking to get my hands on, and I, the few times I've seen it is when I've had no money, is the other Junkie on. Um, I can't remember if it's Scrap Heap or which one it is because they got three of the taller Junkie on. So they got Retguard, they got um, and two other ones. And I, one of them, okay. one's called Scrap Heap, and the other one's called something else. I forget what the damn name is. Yeah, I forgot the name too. But yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, but they they got that one out as well. And I've been really looking for that one. I think mm -hmm. I found it in the store, and I may have hid it somewhere in another aisle underneath some golden girl figures um, so it, it, nobody's ever going to find it yeah <laughs> only trina but i don't think she's visiting anytime that soon. was that was funny i hit it under the golden girl figures. <laughs> oh, wait 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 oh, till next week wait till next week when i have a little bit more time to prepare for it uh like i said time profits watch, stuff like watch that, the so. scalpers are going to grab those in hopes that they ever do go up <laughs> well, they they do grab stuff, but I mean, if you get there early enough and you just beat them all out and, and grab what you want, mm -hmm. or you know, it, I, I haven't had too much problem with some of my stores. There's a few, yeah, especially the WalMarts. It mm -hmm. seems like scalpers hit them, but I have a couple of WalMarts where it seems like the scalpers don't even know about these WalMarts because they're not going there, and their 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 shelves are always stocked with shit that I can't find anywhere else now. So okay. much like the targets have certain things like mm -hmm. the neck figures and everything else that I constantly find, this other Walmart that I go to always yeah. seems to have shit in stock. So, oh, by the way, I did see this guy in GameStop. Uh, I can't remember if I put the shirt up or not. Really? Uh, this is a couple of weeks ago. They did have this concept version of Megatron from I think the Bumblebee movie. He looked amazing in person, but I, I wasn't going to pay the price for him. I think it was way too much. But he he did look really really good. That, that's oh, how I have that movie the... was is that it had all this potential and they even made models for these guys, but they didn't get to show up on screen. Yeah. I was waiting for it and it just never happens. And then the movie ends. Yep, it sucks. But yeah, uh, I I was impressed by this when I saw it in the stores. I don't know how his articulation, the shoulders might be wonky. I I don't know, but uh, first impressions were pretty damn pretty amazing on this guy. Yeah, for bringing the, yeah, the original toy and the cartoon into like a more uh, CGI mechanized look, I think it's a really good model. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, like, Chaos, I, I believe that Megatron falls into the Voyager class. I want to say. I no, want to say this, he's some. Is he this, a leader? No, this one was a leader. He was pretty big. Oh, so he's fifty-five. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Fifty-five to sixty range. Bring your hundred-dollar bills. Yeah, because yeah. the ones they did for the gamer editions, that fell in the uh, 34 to Voyager range. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was nice. Man. I saw him the only one time in uh, in that GameStop, and yeah, and then he was gone. No, well, I will have something for next week's toy hunt that I just filmed today, I think. Um, I did, or maybe yesterday. Um, I did see they had the gamer edition Starscream out. And don't get me wrong, it looks okay, but I, I've already got the old school fall. Of Cybertron Starscream, yeah, and that one looked absolutely fine. I really don't feel like I need another version of him. And the Earthrise and the one that comes in the you know the the coronation one, like that's your perfect Starscream figure. That that coronation one, yeah, Lurch will test that one. That thing is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, that yeah, gorgeous. That's a beautiful figure. Yeah, I love that thing. Yeah. I I actually felt like they did a really good job with it. Mm -hmm. I see. Uh, that's cool when they do it right. Yeah, I, I got his. I got that first release, which I believe was yeah, the Earthrise, and I was like, yeah, I, this is your definitive star screen. Yeah, they, they were yeah. doing some really good work, and even with the reuse of the mold, they did change them up a little bit. Mm -hmm. The so, painting on the legs is slightly different, and yeah, yep, decal mm -hmm. changes. Um, I, I think that is about all we have, everyone. I uh, hope that you had a good time. Thanks for uh, stopping in and checking us out. Uh, be sure to subscribe to everybody that's on the panel. It's not going to cost you anything. That would be awesome, the time profit. That would be awesome if you could. I know it's a lot of work, and you do a lot of other modeling. So, Well, the, the hardest thing about that is if you get the printing is making sure you get good quality plastic to be able to print with. Yep. Yeah. But, yeah, he, he has the modeling skill that if he got a 3D printer, he, he could make some really cool stuff. That's the cool. The Nine Profit. 
I don't know if you guys have seen his models on his website, but they're pretty. Oh, impressive. I have. I've stopped by his channel. I, I may not always leave comments, but I try to stop by. I try to leave comments when I can, but he like doesn't I upload people, much. I'm under I'm under the gun a lot trying to upload things. Like I've been uploading stuff for this toy stream since Monday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, we're we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start uh start uh getting getting to the wrap up part. So uh, Vinny, uh, you want you want to start uh introducing guests and uh, take us out? Yeah. Uh, see, well, hold on. Let me get to the uh, the brand there. Uh, I don't know which one you like to play a lot. Uh, Apparently, we're supposed to skip Slasher if he's not back. Okay. Uh... Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Oh yeah, Trina. <laughs> oh, hey. Um, think yeah, this was fun. I'm not used to going first. I wasn't prepared for this. Um, <laughs> yeah, this was a lot of fun. Um, thank you all in the chat for hanging out with us. And um, yeah, you, you know where to find me at Real Horror here on YouTube. And um, yeah, it was great to stream with you guys again. Had a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was a blast having you. I, I'm happy you enjoyed uh, most of these things that we uh, we were showing off tonight. Uh, and uh, yeah, thumbs up, Trina. <laughs> yes, it would be. <laughs> yes, the thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! But uh, yeah, no, it was, it, it was great. Comment. Looking forward to seeing more of your reviews too, because I I know you got some really cool stuff. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there will be more. I promise. Yeah, and for those who haven't yet, yeah, get over there, subscribe to our channel. Uh, again, we we have fantastic people on on the panel. That's for sure. And uh, of course, uh, be on the lookout for ETEP stream that uh trina is co-hosting with him for a horror night on tuesday nights after um the guinea pigs go live that's right yeah, yeah. the first episode the thanksgiving review that you guys did was really interesting I oh like awesome I'm, I'm glad you liked it yeah it was a lot of fun yeah looking yeah. forward to uh next tuesday yeah that's good i'm gonna have to re-watch it though too i we i had it on i had a muted i because right away um Etep spoiled one of the deaths in the movie, like within the first two minutes of like you guys going. I was like, "What the? F oh, thanks, thanks, Etep." Like, <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I'll have to I remind him about uh, trying to make it spoiler-free reviews. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, at least well, like give people a warning, like the next movie that he's gonna review, and then that way we have a chance to watch it beforehand. Yeah, I yeah, felt like it was more of a talking about movies that everybody has seen. Like I thought, yeah, it spoilers included. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. It's yeah, we did kind of like go off on tangents, and I think that was because you know it was a debut episode, so you know we just were kind of just talking horror in general. Oh but, yeah, yeah, it was, it was. It's good. Yeah, everyone had good chemistry, and uh, yeah, I did, again, well, we've all streamed together before, but uh, mm -hmm. it, it was fun. Yeah, later on, I, I I unmuted a bit when he got past the uh, the Thanksgiving movie because I'm like, yeah, I, I want to see that kind of fresh mm -hmm. without any other major spoilers. But <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, the rest of the conversation was great, and yeah, we were chiming in and stuff too. But uh, hell yeah, um, yeah, let's let's go to our next guest. Hey, I'm stuck. I can't transform. Oh, thanks. I think. Go to hey, my, my double click. Hey, I'm Lurch. Lurch. Uh, it was yeah. fun to be here. It was always fun to be here. Uh, sorry, I'm not feeling that great. I tried to be as enthusiastic and interactive as possible. Uh, it's always fun to be here, obviously. Thanks nice, for having man. me again. Yeah, oh, it was a blast, man. Yeah, and, and glad, glad you uh, you got in uh, some good conversations too with some of these things. And and yeah, the figure you showed too was great. Uh, yeah, I was glad yeah. everybody enjoyed it. Yeah, that Ninja Turtle one, yeah, pretty damn sweet. I've yet to see that one in stores, but uh, yeah, I, NECA keeps crushing it, man. So I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm looking that, forward to more more of the things that they've been doing. Maybe if you yeah, if you ever decide to do stuff like what you did for McFarland, you should try to go there because you were saying everybody else went from McFarland to NECA that you worked with. Oh yeah, yeah. I was I was in contact with them a while back, and yeah, it's they might be able but, to help you out because they could give you a a, a reference. Oh yeah, yeah. If, if I need that for if I'm going back into toy stuff, yeah, that's that's yeah. Cool. That's what I meant. If you if you go yeah. back, if you decide to go back into that, at least maybe you could go do that stuff for NECA yeah. instead of McFarland. Oh yeah, no, I I wouldn't be going back to McFarland for that. Um, 
Yeah, if anything, like I said, it, it, I'd go into the comic book side of things, but uh, Todd showed that he doesn't care about artists. He cares about AI, so uh, yeah. I don't care about that, that stuff. <laughs> I that only use the AI. most crazy thing that it said specifically no AI, and then mm -hmm. they didn't check it. Because, like, I get that they announced it, but once they realized it was AI, it should have just, even if it was the best, it should have been discounted. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure, dude, for sure. Uh, it's insane. Discarded, I guess, would be the proper word. Yeah, but I I, I don't know how how these people run their companies uh, anymore, and it's just it's it's insanity. But uh, don't worry, folks. We're going to be talking about some cool stuff uh, tomorrow. So uh, we'll kick it on over to. It's -a me, Mario Kart Iris. Oh no! Ah, oh, oh. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I figured, let me just get out of the way. Uh, yeah, tomorrow is uh, is the Friday Underground stream. So we'll, we'll, we'll be hitting some topics. There's some crazy stuff going on in the world. Uh, and don't worry, we will be bringing back more of the uh, the president's uh, telling jokes. Um, I put up a slew of them recently, so <laughs> I'll be showing those again. And, uh, yeah, some of them are really good. Uh, I have a lot of kind of your mama jokes, but tailored – towards uh certain people <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a fun time so yeah stay tuned for that and uh we will be covering the uh latest episode of shogun uh i believe it's episode seven and uh, some crazy stuff happens in this one for sure there's only three episodes left so uh, i know chris and i we, we've been enjoying it there's been a few other people getting into it uh i don't know if adam caught up more but it's a little trickier for him since he, he's got to read the screen. Um, you know, it's a little, yeah, he's, he's got the eye issue. I was going to say, speaking of Chris, he uh, was posting pictures on X of like some figures. I don't know if they're 3D printed stuff that he made, but I was saying he should come on here and show them off just because why not? But I don't know oh, if he yeah. ever got a hold of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we, we've all, we've talked about it. I think he's on another stream though. Um, oh, at this time? That I might be the so. issue. But yeah, he's Tommy. He's been on it a couple of times in the past. Yeah, he? yeah, yeah. In the past, he's been on a couple of times. He's I mean, he he knows that he's always welcome here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. The the links are always dropped for him. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's good stuff though. But yeah, folks, tune in if you haven't yet, and uh, yeah, support my my projects. Uh, again, we still have that volume three art book. Uh, I'm I'm gonna be posting up new, um, new He Man sketches. Um. Uh, I, did I show the Beastman? I can't remember if I showed the Beastman. On, on I the... thought you showed it off on either the Friday or Sunday show. I don't remember if you showed it off on the Toy Stream last yeah, week. I might have, but um, yeah, uh, folks, yeah, it's, it, that was a, that's a beauty. I went more with the kind of classic look. Uh, I'll pull up real quick on the campaign, um, but yeah, uh, still available, and so is the the rest of the. Uh, my book. So I have four campaign, four active campaigns and uh, books that ship immediately. You know, you don't have to worry about um, those other kind of sc scummy people in the independent scene that lie to you and trick you. And, uh, you know, they murdered a guy or helped murder somebody. I mean, that, that's not good. That's not cool. Over here, we just make good content and great comic books. So if you want that without any of the bullshit drama and all the other nonsense that goes with it, yeah, here's 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 some grade A quality stuff that ships yeah, that's immediately. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't even I know if I've seen the Beast Man one. It, oh, you haven't? You probably post yeah, you probably posted it or something, but I probably just didn't see it. Yeah, I, I yeah, I think for just a couple of days ago. But yeah, uh, Yeah, I got sand in my eye while I was sanding because I'm still making that blade. It's just a, a casual thing at this point, and then I got sick, but I got sand in my eye and then I scratched up my eye and had to wash out my eyes, so I couldn't really oh, look shit. at the white background of, of X very well. So I was kind of on there, but I yeah, I couldn't really read the print or see certain things, and I could only look at it for so long before my eyes got irritated. Oh, They're yeah, finally yeah. getting better. It, it happens. It, it's why you don't get sand in your eye. It sucks. Like, like for real though. Like, you know, yeah, cause sometimes a little bit of that. sand doesn't bother it, but yeah, what I did was stupid. And I just basically let the sander throw sand into my eyes for hours. So. Oh my God. Jeez. Be careful, bro. I'm, I'm <laughs> glad you're feeling better now, but yeah, be careful. Yeah. No, your safety I'm not doing that doing. Again. Yeah. Well, normally I did, but I just, yeah. And so if you stand in the right spot, it's not an issue, but I was just being retarded and not caring and focusing more on what I was doing. Oh, man. 
Shit. But yeah, for those folks, uh, he is available. He's a one of a kind piece. So uh, just yeah, scroll down on the side here, and uh, he is uh, he's right there. So um, yeah, if anyone's looking for him, snatch him up soon. Uh, I'm actually I I have two he he man drawings that are I, I figured since he's he man, you know, I might as well do more than one. Uh, one that's a little more kind of barbarian like, and one that's closer to your kind of friendly. Happy uh, he man so. Aviator goggles, yeah. Oh, so I, I didn't even see who commented on that. Sorry. Oh, it's her. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It was Curtis. That's who I thought it was, but it, yeah, I just saw the comment and then it went away. Yeah, but, yeah they would work too. Safety. Yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, it gives you a high praise on that one. Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, thank you, really man. Good. Thank you, Stig. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I I can't talk about it. There's something else that's sort of in the works. I know Stig's gonna really like, but can't talk about that yet. Um, but yeah, the He Man, yeah, he he's he's gonna be coming up next. Uh, we'll post one tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I, I'm tr I want to get both of them done at the same time, kind of. One's finished, but one still needs some work. Um, but uh, yeah, so stay tuned. We're gonna have more stuff, and there's also like I said, there's a reason why I'm doing more of these. We'll get into it soon. There's there's another kind of book I'm gonna I'm probably gonna be releasing soon, or uh, another campaign I'll be running. Um, again, while I'm working on City of Venus, uh, I want to try another platform because this platform's kind of dead to, to most creators. Indiegogo, um, I, I've I've mentioned it before. Uh, they've been hit very hard by the people who have not fulfilled their books, and they seem not to give a shit about the comic book side of things. It's sad. Those same people, like I said, they're doing very horrible things online, crying about it, crying victim all the time. And like I said, I separated myself from all that bullshit. Um, if you want high quality stuff without any of the horse shit, you want to have a fun time, tune into my channel, everyone on panel here. Um, we give you some some good stuff and yeah, we'll talk about the stuff that we enjoy. And if it is something bad, we'll pretty much like rip into it once and then move on. We don't do, you know, uh, six months versus worth of content on one stupid uh, six topic. years you're six years right yeah please <laughs> they, they get ridiculous like they're still talking about captain cardboard um uh, yeah uh, well well Vinny, i'm about to do a new series about how i suffer for other people to watch shows i can't stand for clicks. exactly <laughs> holy hell and that all day long my foot up a dog's ass just bang 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 up his ass that's my pleasure that's yeah, you know, uh, that's me. Uh, the most hated guinea pig on YouTube. Uh, the, the son of a bitches that can't stand me. Uh, I don't know what it is that I did to piss off the YouTube gods. And apparently the gods on Rumble, too, because they freaking keep messing with my account where uh, new content isn't uploading. But somehow I just managed to piss off everybody no matter where I go. And all I'm doing is just being me. They just can't handle me. I think that's what it is. They can't handle an independent pig that's got his own thoughts. But uh, guys, if you want to follow me, you can find me on Odyssey, on BitChute, and of course on YouTube as well at Tommy and the Giddy Pig Collective. You can find me over on X at capital GPC underscore war pig. Uh, that's where I am now because uh, even with Twitter, eh, yeah, they're still twatter. Um, even they have hit me multiple times, and I'm on my third account there. That's just sons of bitches. Elon the Musk, thing was, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't even yeah. like real vulgarity. You said eat crayons or something. Like it was almost. I, it, it was like preschool insult. It was. I, I know it, it was so it's such a milk toast freaking comment. It's not like I told him, "Hey, why don't you go take the Tide Pod challenge yeah, again, exactly. and wash it down with a bleach and ammonia chaser?" I didn't yeah, say exactly. anything like that. <laughs> yeah it wasn't actually like if they'd actually went and done that they would have been fine that was the thing it was so dumb <laughs> no time profit i'll save that for the professional grifters <laughs> <laughs> uh I, I don't think slasher made it back yet or did he no I'm not. oh he's back okay well, well we'll kick it on over to slasher then no, no, um, it's, i'm good thanks for inviting oh okay I'm good All right, whatever, <laughs> uh, I always appreciate you jumping on. Uh, you're you're a co-host here, and you're always welcome. And it's always yeah, appreciated man. when you come through, man. I know how it's like. Things are rough out there. Yeah. <laughs> Guinea pig is feeling it too. Always show with you guys. Yeah, man. Oh, dude, it's always a blast hanging out with you. Mm -hmm. uh, again, we got good people, good friends, and uh, we're having, I think, uh, pretty good conversations about the shit that we love. So, um, hell yeah, uh, everybody! Thank you so much for being here tonight. Um, 
yeah um anything else or we're gonna know that, that's pretty much it uh, thank you everybody that's come through and i uh, really do hope you had a good time and if you can please uh subscribe to our channels i'm sure you're going to find other content over there that you're really going to enjoy if you enjoyed this toy stream absolutely everyone have an awesome night <laughs> hey prime what do you think megatron's gonna do to starscream nothing gentle i would say <laughs> <laughs> You better run, Mojito. You what? I thought you said don't move. That was before. Now, you run. <laughs> <laughs>